We've already pulled a magic. I'm magic. That's Aaron. Uh, we're screwing it up already because, you know, I just like to hit the same button twice. This thing, I swear. Hi, I'm Nick. That's shoddy. That's shoddy. That's no, shoddy. I switched it already. Uh, already? We, we are, we are uh, racing dudes after dark to some degree. We are uh, we're here to talk about Turfway Park, the greatest race course in the history of mankind. How are you, shoddy? I'm doing great. It's beautiful outside. Uh, I'm ready to talk Turfway, which I know you have a lot of uh success over this meet uh so i'm excited to go live with you and discuss some of the races so we're eight minutes to race four i uh was in tahoe with my entire in-law family literally all of them the worst weekend of my life when i should be at nhc i'm sitting in a cabin without internet with my mother-in-law <laughs> and my aunt-in-law and my uncle-in-law and all of them and telling them how great i am at turfway and then waiting for the seven to come in or the 11 to come in in the last race on Saturday and uh, not hitting and missing out on a bunch of money was the most mm. frustrating thing ever. But they showed them my spreadsheet about how I've made money at one track my entire life. And it's Turfway this, you know, since November. So glad we're starting this with eight racing days left. Oh, um, I'm so sorry. Pull... <laughs> it's okay. We will pull this up. There we go. Magic's going to yell at you for having the border on the outside. He is a... Um, freak when it comes to zooming in and zooming out. Hey, he so didn't. He didn't give me that. those notes. So <laughs> <laughs> I just Maybe know to mute, to mute the, to mute the screen so the ads don't play and <laughs> advertise some god awful thing. So. <laughs> 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 so we will go over what is uh you know the standard here at turfway park which is a 5k claimer if i'm not mistaken right we're race four sorry a 30k claimer going a mile on synthetic um a very small field for turfway standards of eight and uh who do you like what's your what's your thought process on turfway well, looking at the race, I was kind of looking at um, the number three is uh, the Fortune Bound is a horse that I put on top for myself. Uh, uh, looking at horses at Turfway, I affectionately call this track the roulette track. So, I mean, you could have a thought and then, you know, a 50 to one comes in. But the more I've been watching it and watching you guys discuss it on the Discord, I've started to see a little bit of uh, patterns to follow. Uh, the number three fortune bound is exiting a pretty key claiming race. Uh, they finished in third. The second, fourth, and sixth place finishers in that race have gone on to win. Uh, so I really think, uh, what are their odds at right now? Uh, they are currently three to one. So it's not a uh, horrible odds that I would like to, I would like to take the three on top for me. Yeah, that there. The one thing that I can tell you about my time playing Turfway is that yes, it feels like it's roulette. It feels like it's nonsense. But five mm -hmm. K claimers anywhere. Find me a five K claiming race where you get the favorite winning constantly. It just doesn't happen, and that's one of the things yeah. that people put a little too much emphasis on. Oh, it's Turfway. It's synthetic, and that's why it's getting you know these wild results. And yes, to some degree, maybe. But I think really the reason why you get wild results at Turfway is because you have 12 horse fields and you're running 5K claimers. So when you and I can get together, you know, miss a mortgage payment for a month and buy a horse, well, that horse is probably not going to be the most consistent animal you're going to see. So um, they're 5K claimers at Golden Gate Fields, and they also have wild results. They have 5K claimers at Laurel, probably? I don't know. Somewhere else, I'm sure, has 5K claimers. Oaklawn has 10K 
10K claimers, right? So low level, mm -hmm. you get wild results, multiple horses, you know, 12 horses, you get wild results. So I think all of that makes a bit of sense. I uh, did all that to say I'm on the four. One of the things I look at with this um, track is uh, time form. I think time form is the greatest thing in the history of the world. Unfortunately, you can no longer buy it for cheap. So I'm no longer a uh, time form subscriber. Thank you very much. Um, but their race rating, so if you look at uh, time form, they have a race rating on the left-hand side. It's very consistent and it's very good on a track like this. And then you get uh, the time form speed figure, time form US speed figure, I think you're supposed to say, and mm -hmm. find the one that ran the best at the uh, level that's higher than this. And you typically find a horse that's going to be good. And not always a, a low price. I believe what we're at four to one currently on the four with four minutes to post. Um, I have not looked at the will pays yet, seven to two uh, at the moment. And the will pays are showing it's $44 in the second choice. So I figure those odds likely come down. The twos odds are probably up oh, two odds are probably going up. Um, and who is the favorite, the six and the six looks like it'll probably be the favorite here. So, um, yeah, yeah. there's, yeah. I, I mean, I didn't hate the six. Uh, I it's in my top four. I I went um, uh, three, four, six, one on mine. Uh, so that's how I have them ranked. Uh, who do who do you like underneath the four? Yeah. So when I I've done this um, in the Discord, which you should all join. It's a lot of fun, especially when Turfway is going because a bunch of degenerates are out gambling at four twenty two on a wednesday night or 720 on the east coast people um i like i singled the four in any sort of multi-race wagers which i'm not going to play because i missed my first three races so that's a sign i'm going to hit the rest of them and come on here and say i'm not betting it just like no. so those of you in the discord can you know cash that ticket i'm looking at you rodney um i had the one two seven underneath and i i kind of favor the seven underneath seemed mm -hmm. like one that should um, it ran second last out going six furlongs, ran third, two back going six and a half. The stretch out should probably help this one. Um, and if not, I had it underneath for a reason. So maybe it gets out to the lead and just can't hold it, which is um, the other thing that I'm, I'm adamant about is that going two turns at turf weights hard to go gate to wire it does happen once in a while, but most of the time yeah. the track's been playing pretty fairly. Um, so I had the seven as my second choice and then one and two kind of the, Kind of the same, kind of the same basic thing. So if I did anything, it'd be a four with seven with one, two trifecta. I'd probably throw your three in there. I'd probably throw half of the field in because at that point, getting <laughs> picking first at Turfway is hard enough. Picking third at Turfway is, you know, impossible. Yeah, it was crazy. The race one, uh, obviously, I was up. Uh, we started this late because we both have jobs. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> I am really upset I didn't play race one because all the superfecta, I had I, that I had them not in that order, but if I had boxed it, oh, it was five hundred dollars in <laughs> superfecta, man! Like, come on. Um, uh, since we're a minute to post, I did want to say that uh, I am actually live betting here. I'm starting with a fifty dollar bankroll. I don't like playing pick fives very often, especially at Turfway, but I did do <laughs> a little yellow pick five there. Uh, and then, so I singled the four. So even though I liked the three, uh, I am a subscriber to Racing News Premium. So I uh, am kind of kind of tail Aaron here. This is his top choice um, for race four, uh, his most likely winner. And uh, moving on to race two, I did the one, two, six, 11, which we will talk more about these horses when the races actually come up. Uh, single to seven. Oh, dangerous. That one's actually coming from Davey. So Davey is not here. However, he did cap it. Uh, he chose life because it's his wife's birthday. So he that's why he's not here. Uh, so I'm actually using his single, the seven there. And uh, then I went four, five and then three, four, 11, 14 to close it out. Hopefully be alive by then. Yeah, I, that if you're playing a pick five and you have strong opinions, is that mm -hmm. you with your uh, sound on there? I'm going to blame you for that. 
What does I don't it mean? have any sound. So oh, it's I... my it's my phone that I'm watching it on, <laughs> thinking that it's you. I'm like, I hear it in my headphones. It's super quiet, but you know, maybe <laughs> on my phone, super quietly. So um, I have, I have I... another screen with it. All right, so they're <laughs> loading in the gate here. Yeah, continue talking. Though. Yeah, I think the seven kind of gets out to the lead here, and if it's the best, which it is not, it'll go gate to wire. I think uh, mm -hmm. we'll see which one gets first run. I think it'll be the four. There's a uh, an argument to be made for mm, some of the field. I think there's something you can throw out of this race. So I think there's uh, a. Well, they are off and the seven is in the lead. Uh, the eight uh, resilient beauty, 15 to one close behind. I kind of had a note that that one would probably uh, go to the lead or try to go to the lead as well. And let's see, we have the four Southampton dock kind of battling it out there with, uh, I got a bolt. So right now, one, two, three is kind of so high prices. I'm kind of looking at the, the quarter mile there is 24 seconds. Again, you're a little bit more familiar with Turfway. Is that is that pretty typical? There? What what was it? Uh 24 and a half is 48 and 23. That's not too bad. Um I 24 second qu quarters is a pretty average for what plays here. Um, I have noticed that since the time change and the sun's still out, which you can't play turf mm -hmm. when the sun's out, like that should be a rule. Um, <laughs> they It's been going a little bit faster and playing a little bit more forwardly placed. Um, mm -hmm. As I'm I'm behind you, so they're getting to the uh, second turn uh, here in the fourth. Seven's a dropped move. out. Uh, looks like it's going to be a battle between the four and the two here. Take Shape has taken the lead. Has the inside looks like he's gonna well no four is badly back. I'm sorry that I'm ahead of you. I'm in live comment right. here. Looks like the four and the two. Uh, oh, two got the head the head down there. <laughs> uh, well, starting out a sing, uh, a pick five with the single is never fun. <laughs> <laughs> so we just for the record, I'm I'm getting to the finish line right now. So oh, I, I would have so... liked a little more enthusiasm from your call with uh, the way that Tony Kalo does it. I need you screaming and yelling, please, from now on when you're making hey, these I'm calls. new to horse race calling. <laughs> this is my first <laughs> time ever doing it. <laughs> that, that means you can do it loudly and kind of pretending like you know what you're doing. It's perfect. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Man, I wish I wish the I wish the four had taking a more of an inside route there it kind of went really wide for seemingly no reason all right so yeah. it came in two four one three hey there's my three crossed <laughs> eventually oh so I, got I was a uh, four with seven with one two and ended up playing a four with one two seven with one two seven trifecta so missed it either way so that was good. Oh. Had the had the four to win as well. So you know, I, I don't have any money until there's money magically in my Twin Spires account. And look at that, I uh, I have money. Hey, I did forget. I actually put in an Exacta key box. So all right, I have the I got the Exacta. Thank you for for at least staying in second. <laughs> well, given the uh, four to one over five to two, I'm gonna guess you got nine dollars for a Huzzah, I paid for the ticket. <laughs> let's see if I, let's see if I was right. I was not even close to right. Uh, the oh. probables are two with four is fifty three dollars for two. What? So twenty six to one. So they, okay, I'm up. I paid for the pick five. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean the the six was uh, bet pretty heavily there, and looks like in the probables was uh, yeah, and didn't even finish on the board. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. I mean, you look hey. like you moved the uh, market a little bit here with the three over the <laughs> six was $29, $29 for two. So I'm going to blame you a little bit for killing those prices. So, you know, here come the hate on uh, Shoddy for killing prices and betting something else. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, you know, if it, got the, if it got the odds up on that too, I'll take it. All right. Yeah. Well, that was so, fun. Should I fire yeah. back with the pick four? <laughs> Always. If you have to All ask, right. the answer is yes, right? I mean, that's how this works. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. So I I like the eight in the la in the third race, which did not win. I like the four in this race, which did not win. Um, mm -hmm. I thought the rest of this card was turfway, 
Like I, I don't ever play all ever, ever, ever. I think it's the dumbest mm. thing you can do. And I wrote down all question mark in the fifth race. This next so, race. Yes. Yeah. I was struggling to, <laughs> to not hit all actually on Davies pick five ticket. He does have it as all. And Davies ticket was $63. Uh, so maybe that explains the price on that one versus my $16 pick five. So. <laughs> <laughs> So can you you have control of this uh, Equibase? So if you want to scroll down oh, to yes. the race five here, there was a lot of scratches, which um, you don't normally see oh, on uh, oh, synthetic that. races. You don't normally see it turfway. But my top picks were the five and nine, which are both out. So um, I I did another look through, and there was just nothing really here. It's a five k maiden claimers, three year olds and up, going six furlong. So if you think five k claimers or something. Wait until you see the maidens run and then wait for you to see them run for six furlongs. So uh, this is definitely one that you can make a case for basically anybody. Did you make a mm -hmm. case for someone in particular? Or did you actually hit the all button? Uh, I didn't hit the all button. I actually liked what morning line was a good price uh, there. Well, well, we'll see the odds update here in a moment. Uh, I actually put the number six next dot on top. I think might might be lone speed. And the trainer actually has a 50% win rate with maidens. So I uh, that was a pretty interesting stat that I saw. Uh, the 11, Walla Holly, also has speed, though. So we'll see if that 6 can get that, uh, get that uh, first spot early. Yeah, it, this is, uh, I see uh, our friend michael in the chat here and now i've lost him because there's too many people chatting um he doesn't see how it's an all race oh, and i understand what he's what he's saying that there is definitely you can't really make the case for the eight unless you want to make the case for the eight um and i did not make a very strong case for the eight but a four-year-old cowbred who came here is a little strange to me one of those weird like why is this horse here and it's been running here for a while and it hasn't run very well except for that race when you go back uh, a mile on january 17th i am old and i can't see my own screen that's always a good sign especially for <laughs> being on the camera and me squinting at my uh, screen here um i looked at that race a little bit where it was kind of favoring the uh forwardly placed horses per my favorite time form um and you know i don't think it's got a real chance but when it wins we can all say Turfway and all kind of feel good about it. So my my biggest case was for the eleven. Now um, coming back first time as a five year old, only ran once last year and ran bad. But if you go back and look at a, the few races it had in twenty twenty two, can kind of make a case for a little bit here. And really, it was uh, it's turfway. Let's make a case for something. So the eleven was my my <laughs> big play, um, and then the one was the more logical one based on what we had left uh, third time as a four-year-old third time off of a layoff kind of feels like it's uh, had a it's race two back would win in a race like this. Um, so I kind of think it has a chance. Um, but like I say, I don't, I'm not going to sit here and tell you like, yeah, I definitely have an opinion here that I think there's a, there's a strong winner here. I think more than anything, it's a uh, make a case, kind of take a shot. And if you're playing a pick four, Mm, don't make it too expensive yeah I, i'm not hitting the all button uh i if the 12 beats me here then man <laughs> five thousand yeah no uh yep. i did end up adding off based off my pick five i think i added the i added someone someone's different now <laughs> uh or not or i'm just a liar oh i left yeah. off the three. Oh, i left okay never mind oh well in the I last. Mean, the uh, case that I'd make for the 12, and again, I'm not playing this race in any way. I am going to have zero dollars mm -hmm. on this until one minute to post when I fire $50 worth of trifectas because I hate money. Um, the 12 ran and I didn't finish the uh, first time out, then it came back and ran last and no made no sense whatsoever, had no shot, and now running back again on you know what is it 28 day rest or so four weeks and coming back here it's like well these are the type of 
win ones that win at Turfway that end up pick five. That's like, why in the world is this 12 winning? What case can you possibly make for the 12 and you can't make any case for it? And then you mm -hmm. do the roulette gif and uh, say, yep, <laughs> that's why Turfway. So by no means like that was my, I had the 11, one, six, and then I make my ABCs and I was like, all right, 11, one, six, I'll make a case for, I can kind of talk myself into this. Uh, the three, two were kind of my B's and I don't even remember why I won't even go into why I think there are B's. And I was like, 12-8 because Turfway. So um, I definitely won't be making any strong cases here. I won't even talk you off of anything. Even if you're playing the chalk, this is one of those races that if you play the chalk, I won't even make fun of you. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> At least not to your face. Just wait a minute. Oh, I'll, okay. I'll yeah. We'll, we'll go to go to a private chat. Okay, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> so looking at the, the chat here, it looks like uh, we have... Some love on the one, one on the 11. Dennis is, oh, that was the wrong one. Go away, Dennis. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, Dennis had a pick and I don't see it now. So I must have he did. It's, it. uh, yeah. One of the fun uh, things that you don't notice when uh, you watch the racing dudes or you watch Magic Mike is that one of them is actually controlling the chat and putting it up while the other one talks. And me and Shadi mm -hmm. haven't quite perfected this yet. So while I'm talking, she's reading the chat, not putting it up. And then when she's talking, I'm looking at my uh, time form and not reading the <laughs> chat. So it's going to just be you guys are going to talk to each other. At some point, we'll grab one and then say, hey, look, remember that conversation that uh, comment we had eight minutes ago? We'll find it up there somewhere. There, I found it as you were talking. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. We perfected it. Gives me gives raises the respect level so high when it's <laughs> crazy in the live chat. I don't know how they read some of these sometimes. <laughs> well, we have a Nick Feldman sighting. I've uh, been on YouTube a lot recently, and I haven't seen Nick Feldman at all. So I'm happy to see Nick is uh, alive and kicking. Where I was actually stole your spot, uh, DMing Feldman. him. Yeah, he's on a plane. He's going to Vegas, so I think he'll give up your spot to take his spot. It sounds like so. That's I'll true. I'll live yeah. with that. <laughs> um, we do like, these are the times when you have what half an hour till the next race. And we talked about a 5k claimer and we spent the appropriate amount of time talking about it. So this feels like a good time to talk Derby because when isn't it a good time to talk Derby? Uh, there's two prep races this weekend, the Louisiana Derby, whatever that means. I don't know. Maybe the Kentucky Derby winners there, but nobody cares about that. We're going to talk about, and magic's not here to correct me. The. Jeff Ruby Stakes, Stake. It's my favorite name of any horse race in the history of the world. Jeff Ruby's a steakhouse in Kentucky. Jeff Ruby Stakes is hilarious. Um, I add the steak because I'm even funnier. So um, have you looked at the Jeff Ruby Stakes? Do you have any opinions there? Uh, yeah. And, you know, I not knowing. So we do know for sure now that Agate Road is going to be in Louisiana, correct? Yep. I believe that's okay. correct. And let's see here. The other thing you, you should know, do when you're doing a live show is throw it to your co-host, not knowing that she mm -hmm. doesn't have it ready to go just to set her up. So I do have it pulled looking. up. I was so, just trying to decide, do I want all to right, pull it there we go. the screen here? <laughs> yeah. uh, well, let, me, let me just remove this. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Got to pull up the other screen. So I will I talk pull up the other real screen quick now. about... What I think is the uh, I'm I'm gonna maybe mute uh, Rodney here for a minute because I know he has some strong opinions and I don't want to make him oh, mad boy. because you know we're friends. Um, I I kind of, you said oh no there you go I'm not gonna make him mad I'm gonna make myself happy how about this how about we go with West Saratoga because I think West Saratoga makes zero sense he ran third in the Tampa Bay Derby CMF Davis sorry a few weeks mm -hmm. back. Um, it's a weird place to be sitting in. Definitely doesn't feel like a place that there would be this like strong need to throw him into a race to get into the Derby unless they wanted him in the Derby. And this seems like the weaker of the races. So this may be entirely my uh, future wagering uh, conversation feel, but I, I can make a real strong case for West Saratoga that revolves around uh, me needing to win $10,000 when he wins the Kentucky Derby. So that'll be the case I'll make is if he wins the Jeff Ruby stakes stake, then I get to have him in the Derby and one more covered that we can, you know, make some real money in the Derby. Well, I got to answer the better question. Have you ever had a Jeff Ruby stake? 
or a juror for every script. <laughs> nope, no, I have not. <laughs> I'm not you? either. So no. no. I, uh, no I I'm I, going to the Derby this year. Sorry, I'm going to steal the conversation one more time. Um, and I tried to make a reservation at Jeff Ruby Stakes because it's the greatest name of a horse race ever. And they don't allow you to make reservations if you're a poor like myself. Like they don't even let you do it. So no they're saving it for the for the rich people apparently. <laughs> so I said, well. I got uh, Turfway money. It's paying for enough things. You can pay for Jeff Ruby. And they said, eh, nobody wins at Turfway. So I have something to admit. Uh, I thought Jeff Ruby was just a dude, and it was just the stakes as an S-T-A-K-E-S. And I was like, this is, I don't know who Jeff Ruby is, but he has the stakes named after him. <laughs> it took me a while to realize, oh, it's a steak house. <laughs> womp, womp. Hey, okay, Nick Feldman, uh, Pull it, you pull it. See, you're like connected to my brain here. I, I kind of like Seize the Gray a little bit. Um, I know that's, yeah, also we need to mute Rodney here. And, <laughs> but uh, him and, and Lucky Jeremy intrigue me. I think Lucky Jeremy has been pointed to this race ever since the, um, was it the Sunland? Sunland Derby, yeah. Yeah, he finished third. Uh, I, I, I have some interest in him. We'll see what his price ends up being. Uh, Seize the Gray's price is going to be short than what he should be because of my racehorse but uh, and the excitement that they will have. Uh, and you said, let's see, who uh, the um, Endlessly, I don't know. I don't know about Endlessly. Uh, that's a name that like I wasn't really familiar with up until like I saw that the uh, probables are out for that. Yeah, I mean, I I live in Sacramento, so I live not too far from Golden Gate Fields. Um, mm -hmm. Mike McCarthy is a great trainer. He does run at Turfway. He's ran 45 times per, again, time form uh, this year, and he's won at 13%. The part that was interesting to me was that Rispoli is coming out here, and Rispoli, you know, gets decent enough mounts at Santa Anita, and he wins enough at Santa Anita that he doesn't need to come out to Turfway Park for the day to run in Lawrence, Kentucky. But here he is. So that really intrigued me. I think that uh, Endlessly is going to get a good ride and going to get a good setup. I don't know that Endlessly is going to be good enough because his win came at, you know, Golden Gate Fields. So he is definitely a turf horse. He's definitely won. I mean, he's won four times at Del Mar and Santa Anita twice at both. And then went up to... Um, golden gate and one at three to five so i don't know if he's beaten anything i don't know if he's really that good he did take mm -hmm. the mount at golden gate from jj hernandez who stayed at san anita for you know obvious reasons so i don't know you can endlessly can win that race for sure and it would not be a huge surprise but at five to two you gotta say turf way and not play five to two in a race like this is my opinion yeah. um but you know when he wins it's not going to be a huge shock to anybody i can't imagine What's your feeling about noted? I can't get noted right. Um, the Breeders' Cup juvenile decision was interesting. That's all I'll say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it seems like there was, you know, Rapoli wants to be in the Derby. I mean, I think that's about as clear as we can get is that uh, Mike Rapoli loves to hear Mike Rapoli speak, which, you know, I'm doing a YouTube show about Turfway, so I, you know, kettle meat pot, I suppose. Um, but he does seem to be very good on the turf. I mean, that race at Go at uh, Gulfstream in December was good. Kids Joy, eh, not so good, but that seemed more like a track type issue, and he didn't take very well that day. I think he's good. Synthetic plays enough like a turf race that I think he should be good. Definitely one that I'm using, and if you get anything near 10 to 1, it makes a lot of sense. Um, I don't think you get that because Saez is here and Pletcher's here. And I don't think Pletcher, well, Pletcher technically ran four at Turfway in the last year. I don't think any of them have been this year. I think it was all last year on this same day last year. And they are still counting it because there's, uh, you know, 365 days where they count. So he ran four on uh, Jeff Ruby's stakes last year. So he's still there. So shipping him up here is an interesting idea. They, they clearly want something to come of him. He's, you know, they bought him for 200,000. He's already won 340. Why not put him in the Derby if you can get him there? Yeah, and then another horse that I kind of, uh, Woodcourt looks like his figures are improving a little bit. Uh, he finished, I believe, fourth in the uh, Rebel. Um, 
kind of chasing the pace there. Uh, like like you said, uh, Turfway is going to Turfway though, and I I just a lot of people you're like, oh, I'm, I'm on endlessly endlessly for the is going to make the Derby. I'm like, eh. I why do I feel like some random horse such as Lucky Jeremy who already has some Derby points is going to make that gate? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that would be one of the reasons I'd make the case for West Saratoga and that and my uh, future bet where he's my second highest payout. So let's go with that one. Um, so there is Turfway, definitely Turfways. It will play differently because it's going off at 625 Eastern, which is uh, mm -hmm. a little bit ago. And I think the track's going to play differently than it's played all year. Um, it's also going a mile and an eighth, which they don't run. They run mile, mile and a 16th and a mile and a quarter. They don't do many mile and an eighth races. I don't know of any, though, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure there's been at least one. Um, so I think it's going to play a little weird. I think it'll play more towards forwardly placed than I normally would. So I just said that it normally plays uh, fairly and kind of off the pace would be the way I'd play a mile and an eighth typically. But I think the mm -hmm. way the track's going to play on Saturday will be a little more forward, a little more speed favoring. Um, it does play more like a turf course than a dirt course, but I do think it has enough uh, dirt ability in there to run, you know, forwardly placed kind of win. So be kind of the way that I would, I kind of lean. I don't know. I haven't looked enough. I've done my once over here. So we'll see if it's actually uh, anything. Well, it looks like we are eight minutes to race number five. Uh, and just think, we got three more of these in between. So we got lots of time to talk. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop interrupting you at some point, but probably not anytime soon because I interrupt everybody all the time because I, like Mike Rapoli, like to hear myself speak. Um, I This is the <laughs> conversation I'm actually here for. Like, we can talk about Jeff Ruby Sticks all we want, but um, Texas Roadhouse started in, Lex in Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. What's going on? And so um, you all are in the chat, but me and Shadi have not been. And thus, we're going to go and talk about how it started, um, that the Texas place started in Louisville, Louisville. Um, and then we have lots of talk about uh, <laughs> not just uh, Texas Roadhouse, but also Ruth Chris, which I'm with Nick Feldman, overrated. Um, it's good, but not $200 for a couple good. So I'm with you, Nick. I want to pull up Aaron's comment here. I do see that Husker Butch does run this weekend on uh, Sunday. Ooh. So we're going to see now that Aaron doesn't own him, does he win again? <laughs> and the answer is probably going to be heartbreakingly yes. <laughs> He's running. Where is he running on Sunday? At Oakland? I believe so. I just saw the notification. See, now you're making me look things up while we're on live again. <laughs> you know? That, that way I can start talking because I, I love to hear my own voice. Um, yeah, there you go. Go but... <laughs> for it. Well, I <laughs> um, yeah, I do. The I I love Turfway. I think this is known by everyone who knows me. And if you don't know this, it's my favorite course in the world. I know that's sad and disgusting. And also, hi, I'm a degenerate. I don't know if you know this about me also, but I told you I like Turfway. So that is the case. I think the Jeff Ruby is way overblown for actually winning the Derby. I know two fills ran really well last year. I know uh, Rich Strike won the Derby running fourth in this race. I think that Turfway is way overrated. And um, I'm hoping that one of these uh, dirt horses comes here and wins and beats a mediocre field and gets overbet a little bit in the Kentucky Derby because I don't think you're going to get the winner of the Derby out of this race. So I've just talked uh, Otello into the winner's circle of the Derby, probably, oh, right? Something like that. That's probably what I've done here with my uh, making sure I, I completely uh, uh, jinx myself. Oh, boy. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> uh, well, now have I have double jinx myself. Right. Good job. Uh, so we're, we're getting closer to the race going off. I know you are not... a. Uh, Live betting here, but if you had a exact a wager, what would you wager here? Ooh, I don't even play exact, so you're going to put me extra on the spot. Oh. And I have okay. To get well, while you look at that, and talk about my exacta. So now I can listen to my. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so as I said before, I, I really like the six. I kind of had it as a six one two eleven uh, coming in that way. Uh, so I did a uh, one two six over. One two six eleven one dollar exacta, 
maybe I'll get lucky twice in a row and get another $20 exacto. That would be great. Actually, if the six <laughs> over 11 came in, I'd be pumped. At current odds, let's see, the six is five to one and the 11 is five to one. So that'd be great. Right. And you've kind of stolen what I uh, think about this race. I, like I said, I, I don't like this race. I mean, it's hard for me to say I don't like anything at Turfway, but these are the type when you 5K claimer, maiden claimers, fine. I can, you know, talk myself into a horse here or there, but then you get the scratches of the horses I liked, which I like the five and the nine. So I ended up with the 11 one six. So that's what I would play. I'd do a one on one six eleven exact a box. Um, which is paying uh, well enough that I can justify saying, hey, Shadi talked me into it. I hate money. Here's my exacta box. <laughs> Shadi <laughs> talked me into it. Everyone can blame Shadi. <laughs> yes, perfect. I like this idea. There we go. <laughs> oh. I, I, uh, so I've, well, I told you, I haven't told everybody else. I uh, tried to sign up for DRF bets because I thought I'd get um, time for them for free. Turns out DRF bets doesn't like uh, CDI tracks, so I can't bet fairgrounds, nor can I bet Imagine turf that. So, Yeah. <laughs> so my uh, my deposit this morning thinking, oh, I'll have some money. Plus, I get a bonus because my first deposit. So I was all excited with myself. And then yeah. can't get uh, DRF. I can't get time form in there. Can't bet Turfway in there. So I put more money into Twin Spires because Nick hates money. <laughs> so you say you don't like exact does what's so looking forward to the next couple of races I i'm going to ask you the same question every time so uh is there do you prefer trifectas do you just do multi-race wagers i like, have how, how do you um, wager my general wagering today is win bets and i'm happy with my win bets because i lose 20 dollars or i make money and mm. that sort of works for me pretty well um, I always construct a pick five ticket because it helps me to kind of focus on how to build a ticket that will be affordable and makes my opinions a little bit tighter. So like in a race like this where, well, I guess this is a pick four, but I would have singled in the last race and then gone three or five deep here. And so when I'm actually playing in a individual race, when I'm playing five in a pick five, it means I don't play the race. And so it kind of, it keeps my focus on, what I want to be actually focusing on, which is not, unfortunately, the rest of this card. I'm I'm pretty deep the rest of the way. So I'll, I'll come up with some better opinions than this one. This was just one of those races that was way wild. But yeah, yeah. win bets is the answer. Um, but I try to, I look for the best value I can get. And that's typically trifectas or I, I like doubles. I like pick threes. Um, but win bets kind of is my, my normal thing. Gotcha. Yeah, I went ahead and circled back uh, on that pick five that I posted before. And so I'm one, I'm four uh, horses deep in this first leg. So if that doesn't hit, then. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so I see we have Dennis saying, I'll say, watch out for the surface horses at Keeneland. They're always under bet and overachieved. This is very, very true. Um, it's very similar. And I find this to be the case they get undervalued because people think Turfway is not high quality, which, you know, we're about to watch a 5K maiden claimer. So it is not very uh, high quality, but you also do get some pretty good allowance races. Um, you get some decent stakes races and they play the track plays fairly enough that the good horses tend to come out and play well. Um, and Keeneland is such a tough meet to handicap because you get all these horses coming out of, Gulfstream, you get the horses coming out of Oaklawn, you get the horses coming out from New York, and you kind of get this conversion of uh, horses in this one spot and can't bet them all. And so Turfway mm -hmm. normally gets the shorter shift there. So it is definitely one. I, I'm going to be interested in how it plays uh, this year and coming forward as there's more and more horses running there that I think it's getting a bit more respect. But, you know, Racing dudes let us do a show about Turfway, so somebody has to like at least a little bit, right? Like that's ha has to happen. I think they only, uh, you know, it's it's greenlit because Turfway's almost over, and then we'll move on to something else. <laughs> that's this probably is true. more likely. <laughs> hey, so they are walking up to the gate right now. Do you want to try to call this, even though you have a slight delay, and I'll just mask my facial reactions? Or <laughs> let's see. We can here. switch. Uh, okay. Switch calling. <laughs> all right let me see if i can't pull my pps up here 
All right, this will be fun. Oh, my old eyes. God, I'm going to look right at this. Like, I'm not even old, but my screen is just small enough. And like the light's just wrong. How old am I that I'm blaming the light in my room? That's what's going to cause me not to be able to see is the light in the room. Nice oh, oh, job, Nick. Old man yells at Cloud. <laughs> oh, boy. He, you should see my kids. They they think it's hilarious. Um, yep. So I have them right. behind the gate still. And they're, uh, yeah, they're, still, they're the still loading for me. Okay. So I didn't really see many people having an opinion on this. Good. I saw. <laughs> So I see. This is the correct. Oh, sorry. Yep. This is this is the correct opinion, Curtis. I'm I'm with you. (laughs) I guess we have been talking about this race for 30 minutes, so all everyone's picks are way higher. (laughs) Yeah, you got to You got (laughs) to scroll scroll. through the um, (laughs) the hot takes about Chris Ruth, Chris, and uh, uh, Texas Roadhouse being from Louisville. Okay. All right. All right. They're in the game. And they're off. The six is next dot takes the lead. Oh, I didn't color code my uh, program here. So the Wally Holly Mm -hmm. runs second. Beaker in a nice stocking position third. And early trailer is not the seven because the seven scratch. So old eyes say it's the one Delany's Grace. Let's go with Uh, next dot going into the first turn. Only turn. 23.12 23.12 running pretty easily. Wally Holly looks like to be struggling and falling backwards because I liked it. So, of course, it's going to start falling backwards. Uh, here comes double overtime. The three to one shot looks to be running just fine with Beaker following behind. Uh, Michael, here comes Top Hat Tigress that you can't make a case for as he, she makes a nice run. And the six is going to run away with this one pretty easily. And Beaker goes back inside easily until it gets to a 16th to go because it's a 5K claimer and maybe it will go backwards. Beaker making a move, double overtime making a move. And the six that I called home free at the 16th pole wins, uh, runs third. So nailed it. I told you. Hey, chat, did I hold it together well that you could see it? The, it had already happened 10 <laughs> seconds earlier. 2-12-6, <laughs> oh, nailed it. Oh, I, no. I can't even pick winners of the 16th oh, pole. That's how God. this is going tonight. <laughs> I think the 12th got the 6. Oh, man. Yeah. That's rough. Hey, I lived through the leg, though, and that 12 <laughs> that I almost talked into the winner's circle didn't win. <laughs> Oh, man, I, I think the 12 got the bob on the 6th there. Yeah, well, I... I uh, what are you going to do? This is why I don't call races, and especially don't call races when I don't know the names, and then have to look away. Like, nothing better than watching a YouTube where a guy looks away from the camera and looks at something else. Oh, like, what more do you need close. here? Between the 6 <laughs> and the 12? I don't know yet. We'll see here in a second. All right, well, we're getting two different... Uh, the 2 one and was running sideways, according to Ron. Well, the 2 one. I, I'm... T- uh, I don't know who got second though. Gotcha. Me, me neither, because I uh, was happy to say that the six won, and then maybe ran third. Perfect. Like if you don't, <laughs> if you don't like that, like I don't know what to tell you. Like you're in the wrong place at this point. Like Magic let us go, but I see him in the background here. Like I'm sure he's ready to pull the plug on me calling races if I'm also going to call the winner. <laughs> way wrong like not even <laughs> close to winning six running away with it like we need to replay that over and over that's the new intro six running away with it and he runs third well and you know next dot did exactly what i thought i thought would be pretty long speed the 11 tried to come after but um almost got away with it just got caught at the end there um there they still haven't put up the second place it's still a photo so you're saying there's a chance that there's a dead heat <laughs> <laughs> it's turf way it takes a while it's you know it's florence um i went to the kentucky derby last year because i mm-hmm. turned 40 and that was my uh big present to myself but i'm too poor to fly to louisville louisville on a derby week so i flew into cincinnati and oh, we fly to cincinnati. Six over the 12 <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> No, there's not six over the 12. It's a dead heat. Yes. Oh, it was a dead heat. Wow. Was a See, dead that's heat. why I couldn't call it. That was the problem. 
Woo, hit that exacta and I'm alive. I'm 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 pumped right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just getting the results. Yep. Look, I'm, I'm gonna confirm what you just said. There you go. So you get it twice, right? Yeah, you should get it twice. No, I, I didn't have the twelve. Yeah, but you'll have the oh, sorry. I, I still don't know who ran second. I watched the race, I called the race, and I still called it wrong. Well, then you'll get half your price, is what I was saying. Obviously, that's what I was trying to say. Oh, Shelby. you're right. I shouldn't get too excited. I might not even pay nine dollars. Well, it's gonna pay twenty-five for a dollar and then half of that probably. So twelve and a half. All right. I'll I'll take being in the black here. Yeah, and you got it. <laughs> You got it. Uh, you got the one before too, kind of, sort of. So we'll give you double mm -hmm. credit. Um, Dennis, this I don't know if you listen. Probably not, because why would you? There's a podcast that's I don't know, 20 years old at this point, called Solid Verbal, and they talk college football. And when they talk about Louisville, they talk about Louisville, and it's one of my favorite ways of pronouncing Louisville because they're southern. We can make fun of them because there's no southern people that like horse racing, right? Like that's a easy, easy targeted horse racing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm gonna scroll uh, down here to the next race race six it's twenty seven so thousand one mile for phillies and marriage i'm gonna give jeff credit though i don't know uh if he called this before the race maybe he called it, it with his it eyes was before. So, okay yeah, he i'll give him credit then yeah. good so you weren't wrong dennis and jeff you were you were correct all right <laughs> So yeah, the two six exact to pay twenty five dollars for two, so twelve something for you. Sweet. Yeah, there you I go. Will, a nine dollar ticket. Take you can take it. So, as you get into uh, Turfway, th these are the races. These last couple where you have a five k main claimer. Now we're running a starter allowance for horses that have started for what uh, claiming price of eight thousand or less since March twentieth of 2022 so basically ever so you know if you started for 8k back in march uh, 2022 and then won a mm -hmm. stakes race since you're eligible here so uh any you can't possibly have a strong opinion do you have any any ideas here for uh this race well i think it's going to be a super fast pace here with the uh Let's see, it's the number four, True Blue Pearl, and number seven, Lemon Bomb, kind of, uh, and number 10, Blossoming. So, like, I, I think the, the pace might be a little hot up front. Now, I did single the seven, Lemon Bomb, in my pick four. Uh, I think it's probably one of the more of the standouts here. Uh, however, I did have a note about number nine, uh, Twirling Ruth, that they might like the distance change here. So going from six, six and a half furlong to a mile. So we'll, we'll see there. Yeah, it, it should, might be able to stretch out. At, uh, well, I'm just rolling it hasn't hit, hasn't ran that yet at the meet here. Um, but losing Abel Cedillo is always a bad sign for me. So I, I was not on the nine. I had it kind of as a potential, but definitely felt like a tough one to make a, a strong case for but able mm -hmm. to writing i'm with you on the seven seven is the most logical in this group a four-year-old philly making her third start as a four-year-old and it's been improving the last two and kind of running pretty consistently really um the stretch out is the question and i think if you're going to make the case against which i'm assuming is going to be a semi short price right i don't think the seven's going to get hammered but i think the seven's going to probably be the favorite though i should probably look before i start talking um you know, so I, was the favorite uh right now the number two endless is listed as the favorite um live odds so hmm. which is funny because i did i don't have endless on on any of my wagers here so that kind of concerns me <laughs> so the two was my top choice um it was also uh scott shapiro who is the track announcer or not announcer he's the analyst over at turfway um he posts his picks every day and one of the most amazing things you can see is a guy who posts every pick every day 
is mm-hmm. a dollar eighty seven ROI. So on a two dollar win bet, he's returned a dollar eighty seven. That is just an outrageous, outrageous uh, run he's been on. So he's very good. So I always kind of like what he has to say. Um, the four looks like it's going to be the favorite, at least based on double will pays. The seven is going to be a close second choice, and okay. then probably the two. I uh, know, probably the five. Uh, probably anybody that kind of gets a little muddy there. So four, seven are likely favorites. Um, I didn't like the four at all. Uh, I don't like the ones coming into Turfway and never running on. Um, you don't like the four at all then, or just not going to be in the money at all? Yeah. So I it, the four <laughs> ran on Synthetic back at Gulfstream last year, two years ago, last year, um, and ran okay. But I don't think the Gulfstream Synthetic runs like the Turfway Synthetic. I think it runs more like grass, and this horse is, seems like it's not going to be all that great. So I'm going to toss the four entirely. I'll make the bigger case for the two. Um, won a race that was similar to this one two back. Um, I'm just a little afraid that it, it, it needs to, it's able to pass, but it just needs to get a good ride. And I don't know that uh, we're going to get the ride that I really want now that I'm looking at yeah. it uh, a second time. But does pass horses and runs a similar sort of uh, speed figure and coming out of similar races so the two is the the lot not logical the the one that i like based on what i think the price will be i think the seven is the more logical of the two so seven two exacta two seven exacta type of play um so i think we're we're relatively similar to each other on this one yes yeah and you know that exacta might come in a little chalky so i might i might do a pick three going into this one with my winnings, um, I, I had my opinion was a <laughs> pretty much a seven, eight, ten, and then I did have the four coming in fourth. So yeah, I'm glad Play that we one out and run a pick three. You're good. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do. The ten is one that I had marked down as one that I really liked. Um, what I've one of the things that I've noticed and kind of making the case for here is that the speed out of golden gate fields where the tens coming out of, um, Mm -hmm. it's been holding pretty well. I just don't know that the speed's going to hold going a mile. It seemed like, and this is more me trying to remember. So definitely don't take this as gospel. Um, but the speed was well at golden gate turfway going a sprint going that one turn six, six and a half. I think the one turn or the two turn one mile might be a bit tough, but coming out of some, bad races at golden gate fields and uh winning two of those and with a slight step up might be too much here um and i think this race is better than what they're having at golden gate so uh, i think the underneath is the best spot for that 10 so go uh two seven two seven ten let's make that my uh yeah. my thought anyway two seven two seven ten okay uh, I did want to call out before we move on um, that the last race's winner, Double Overtime, was actually one of the free picks on RacingDudes.com. So Aaron uh, does picks for every race every day, and that was one of his free picks, so the top pick for that race. And if you did follow the premium picks, he actually did hit the exacta as well. So He did. Just, and he, just calling that out there. Yeah, and he had, um, in the race before, he was on the four with you and I, but he had the mm-hmm. two as one of his picks as well. So definitely one that um, he has been good at Turfway as much as he says he doesn't like Turfway, which I know mm-hmm. he doesn't say it out loud, but I can see it in his eyes. When you say the word Turfway, you can just feel his skin kind of crawl, but he's been, <laughs> he's been good at Turfway uh, recently. So I, uh, I do definitely like that. And as you can see from the bottom magic made sure that we had the Louisiana Derby betting Bible, but he's not here to, change it so i may just change it to the turfway uh, betting bible and see how long <laughs> we last on these airs before they throw us off <laughs> don't do it don't do it uh so you i'm gonna go ahead and put your your exact up here so you had two seven over two seven ten yeah i think that's a I think that's a good one. I'm going to I'll double check my uh, probables before I, I commit to it, but put it up and then I'll change it. And then I can say that sure, I was there right you go. eventually. But the two <laughs> with 10 right now, uh, exact is paying 131 for two bucks. So I'll, wow. I'll live with that. And, and 91 for the seven with 10. So mm-hmm. that works. Uh, two sevens, 50, 
seven two is fifty two. So a little uh, a little chalkier towards the two seven, but I think there's some you know what we have eighteen minute enough time. How much time do we have? I'm good at this. A long 15 time. Minutes, for the race. 15, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So plenty of money will come in and I'll screw this yeah. up. And I myself, I had something very similar. I just actually, I, I did add the four um, because I did have it and finishing underneath. And then I also threw in the eight uh, dialed in a, um, mostly because <laughs> the jockey, I, I was just going through like stats. He's getting 60% win rate. <laughs> apparently or something wow. with, with his mounts that he has so uh i was like why not i'll throw him underneath maybe he'll get second and if he wins i'll be like well should have put a win bet instead yeah uh, i mean i have like i said i'm i'm not a fan of playing ones that are coming off the dirt and coming off of a longer layoff it's it's fair they win right i mean by all means they win it's not like it's they they're an auto toss but First time five year old mayor. I'm always a little skeptical of five year old mayors. Uh, Magic and Mike have kind of convinced me that five year old mayors can turn real quick. And so I'd like to let her beat me once. And at this point, she's what, 15 to one or so? 15 to one on the morning line, 12 to one currently. Um, yeah, she's definitely one that can beat me. But when she runs third or second, you can cash your ticket again. And I will sit here not cashing any tickets as you continue to cash tickets. So, you know, that's the way it'll go. I mean, at this rate, I might as well just play anything that you say, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, I, and then you I would do the opposite. In. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that would be my move. I'd play oh, the man, opposite. You gotta have of what some com confidence in your wagers. <laughs> oh no, I, I'm confident. So far, I'm so confident. far I'm two and zero. Oh, I'm pumped. <laughs> <laughs> so Dennis is on the two with me. Okay. So we'll we'll go with that. I'll take Dennis as being on my side. Makes That's me real nervous question. that I have the seven singled here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, like I said, I think the seven is a very logical one. And if you're going to single, it's the type that you should single with. If you're going to play the seven, you shouldn't play it with the four and with another one that's going to be a short price. So play play a small ticket with it. Don't play, you know, don't include all of them. If you're going to include all of them, throw the seven off. It's the only way to actually make this work. Yeah, I agree. Um, so... Davy Davy's pick five is also dead first leg. Uh, he did have all in the second leg, so you know he skirted by that one, and he has the seven singled here. So we'll see. Will we get the four out of five or not? Because <laughs> uh, I also singled the seven on my pick five. So so I didn't know that Turfway. I this shows how much I pay, uh, play the uh, pick five at Turfway. I didn't know it paid four out of five. So that's kind of nice to know. It does. It's um. It when it's chalk, it's bad because when you're hitting the pick five and you're getting significantly less because you're paying out four out of five, um, you do get the four out of five when you have five out of five too. So it does kind of reward you as well. But um, that's it's, interesting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. I I would prefer that it pays five out of five only, and if nobody hits it, to roll it over. But they don't do that either. So. You know, I don't Sharks. run a track. I, I can barely afford to get into one at this point, the way my tickets are going. So, uh, uh, Rodney, I cannot cancel my, my pick four because we are on the second or third leg. Or, I'm sorry, the second leg of it. So, womp, womp, womp. <laughs> the single for this multi in race seven, number eight. Why didn't you say that earlier in the Discord? <laughs> <laughs> i don't have uh, the number well, eight in any of my wagers great <laughs> yeah i i mean i don't see the eight here at all so i'm i'm with like we're on race six right like i'm not missing something yeah. no no the single for the multi multi tickets oh in race gotcha seven, the number eight gotcha okay i was like wait fair a second enough. fair enough all right uh, so we have 11, 11 minutes to post. Did we want to talk about, do you think we have enough time to talk about fairgrounds or is that something maybe we'll save for the next race? Um, I have struggling to. <laughs> What's up? Oh, Kurt, Curtis was uh, responding that you only have to pay. Oh. You only have to pay $400. Oh, well, keeps going away for a reserve seat. Just Ruby. So. 
Come on, yeah, easy. Nick, try harder. Try, yeah. Try harder. <laughs> well, and I was what talking. Is that, a, to, is that a couple pick five tickets? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, was talking to Scott Shapiro because you know BFFs, me and him, um, mm -hmm. and he's not going because he has long COVID and he can't be in crowds. And they've basically moved him to a spot where there's a bunch of people. And he said, but there won't be any people there because they're charging four hundred dollars to go in. So. It's a nice, fun uh, exercise that he gets to play there, too. Um, I would say let's wait on the um, Louisiana Derby because there are more horses that are actually interesting talk, moving interesting forward. To talk about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think there's and I think the I I would bet the winner of the Kentucky Derby is not in the Louisiana Derby. But I'm not betting that for a whole lot because you're going to get way lower odds because there are some really good horses in there. Um, I think you have enough that are going to move forward. And I think uh, Jared on hit the video they did, uh, he did um, was right. So I'm, I'm glad to be on the same side with him in there and especially at a price that you're probably going to get for that one. So that'll be, that'll be good. Um, I guess since we'll, we'll keep talking about this race, they're on the track uh, just doing their little warm ups right now. What did you think about, we didn't really bring up the six at all. And isn't necessarily cold on the board. It's moved up or down from its morning line. I didn't really have any notes on the horse other than it's raced against some of these horses, including Lemon Bomb in here. And, and Coral Coral Coral. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely one that can fit. Um, I thought coming out of the races that she is coming out of are just not quite that good. And uh, has been like one race the last race out would be the one that i think could win this race the rest of them were just against weaker so ran second and third uh three and four back but just not really against anything so i think this is you know while it's a starter allowance race it's not like it's some crazy race here um i think it's a step up and then going longer right because it's ran the last four at turfway mm -hmm. going six or six and a half and now going a mile maybe a mile is what it's wanted all along and uh foster's been doing very well especially for the ones that i, I assume he owns or at least somebody in his family owns because the foster family racing owns the this one and foster's been running well with these ones going longer and i've been uh knocked out of a couple of horizontal races because of uh, foster on this angle so pro probably just talked into the winner circle just because i like to mention that <sighs> Man, you gotta stop doing that. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to my life. All right, I was gonna go ahead and post that there. So uh your ticket would cost four dollars for a dollar exacta, and mine would cost eight. So uh and I, I'm sorry for all of those who are like, why aren't you doing five dollar exactas? I I had a, a small bankroll to start where we're gonna do dollar minimums. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm going to double check then what our uh, probables are looking like because we got a couple okay. minutes. And that's always, I think when you get closer to the race, I think that's really when you want to start looking at what kind of mm -hmm. exact you want to play. Morning lines are morning lines. You're never going to get the morning line. I mean, yeah. David Aragona is the best in the world at it, and he never gets them exactly right. It's still one of his goals in life, which when he does, it's going to be wonderful. Um, but I think looking at what your probables are, as you get closer Look at will pays for the double will pays. Look at the pick three will pays. It kind of gives you an idea of who the favorite is going to be. And if the idea of the favorite is uh, what in this one, I think we said it was going to be the four, or the uh, seven looks like they're going to be the favorite. So if the probables aren't saying the four, the seven are the lowest price in the exacta, then you're going to get some movement. In this case, the four sevens paying uh, 34. And the seven four is paying 34. So you figure that's kind of going to be where it's going to end up hmm. uh, lower than that. Normally from this point, you'll go down. Yeah. So I'd guess you get 25 for two bucks, maybe a little bit less if um, they keep playing them this way, because they are playing them pretty heavy. So I think, you know, a dollar exacta where you're paying, what was yours? $8, you said? $12. Mm -hmm. So at that point for 12, you're getting double your money. Not not the worst way of playing that ticket. I would say you're better off, you know, throwing one of those other ones out that you don't think is going to hit the board. Or I would say play yeah. one on top. But you know, I I haven't hit a ticket yet, so listen to me at your own risk because you know I I don't hit very many tickets. I'll go ahead and listen to you, and then when it when it does, it, well, yeah, there we go. When, when I cost you money, you can <laughs> stop listening to me. I mean, that's that's the way this is going to go. 
<laughs> uh, hey, Davey, nice to see you in the chat. I hope uh, dinner went well. It's not too late for you to join. You can still hop in here if you're still listening. <laughs> so I will nice. actually, I'm going to play a pick three because now I think okay. my two is actually going to be worth playing. So it's going to be a cheap one. It's going to be the two in this race with mm -hmm. the three in the next race. And I'll be, a, I'll play a um, double there too. Cause I love doubles more than anything in the world, including my children. Yes. I'm talking about the big one <gasps> specifically. Um, <laughs> he can't hear me. It's fine. Um, a two, <laughs> three double is currently paying 50 to one. So that'll be my, yeah, my basics for my pick three. And then I'll throw in, I'm going to go deep with a 2-4-14 in the last race. So 2-4-14. That race is just a mess. So I don't want to go too nuts. So for 50 cents, it's a dollar fifty. So I'll do it for a whole dollar because I'm really, really rolling these days. So 2 with 3 with 2-4-14 will be my uh, end the day pick 3. And I'll do a 2-3 double because... 50 I'll to 1 you. is way too good. I will go ahead and tail you. So Charles B here likes the 4578 try box. 4578. Hopefully that 8 comes up there to second. That would be great for me. <laughs> for my exacta. Uh <laughs> Series seven on Saturday, the Animal Kingdom. Oh yeah, that's, that's something we can talk about for four minutes here. So yep. this is a Saturday race. Sorry, Rodney, uh, stop listening. Um, I am super high on Valentine candy. Like, I, I know that there's a, some other there's a shards and a vote no. We're in that race, but yep. Uh, I think Valentine Candy's been running great at Oaklawn. We'll see if that translate to uh, translates to synthetic. I don't think he's ran on synthetic. I, ha I don't have his PPs up here. He so. is not. Um, he's just ran on dirt, but I don't think it matters what they run on. Valentine Candy is the best three-year-old sprinter there is uh, yeah, on the crop right now. Um, they did try him in, what was that? Uh, nope. Yeah, Saratoga, they tried him in the hopeful going seven, and that was a disaster. But since then, he's ran six furlongs or less and just been crushing. So I think, uh, you know, Time for Truth is a very good, I hope, longer horse, because I have him too, that he beat at, the, at Oakland last time um, in the yeah. Ozark. I, I don't see how any of these horses stand a chance against Valentine Candy. Um, but I, I'd go Valentine Candy with Let's Go Mark and Vote No, because I think both of those are very good and going to be underappreciated to having ran and won, or at least ran. Yeah, vote, Let's Go Mark also won. So yeah, Vote No and Let's Go Mark are very good synthetic sprinters as well. So I think those two would be a great uh, exacta underneath. All right. Uh, they are walking up to the gate. Still two minutes to post, but so they're still doing a couple little circles there. Um, well, that now now that I thought about that race, I also want to talk about the hot spring stakes after this, maybe because <laughs> um, it's the the Boulevard of Broken Dreams for the Racing Dudes Fantasy League. Uh, yes, it is. So if you follow the Racing Dudes uh, Discord at all, or if you are a fan of the Fantasy League, you'll know that there are some horses in that hot spring stakes that are, have been a little disappointing to put it lightly uh, for their respective teams. And I am one of them. So <laughs> well, we'll talk more about that maybe after this race. Fair. I was going to say, I, I don't get my invite. Um, my invite is uh, lost somewhere in the mail. So maybe next year I'll get to play in the fantasy league. <laughs> I have to see maybe someone some people quit after this time because man their first time in it has been kind of rough for some people or it's not yeah. it's not going so it's not going as well as it started we'll, we'll put it that way <laughs> <laughs> all right so i'll try to call this race i will attempt to not call horses just by their number um but i am not uh, super attuned to these turfway horses so i don't really know them by by silks or anything like that which I don't know how, man. Whenever the the saddle cloths are the same color, I'm just like, ah. <laughs> yeah. Just memorize the the hat colors. Yeah, sh no. 
<laughs> <laughs> well, when it's your job and you do it all the time, I'm sure it's much easier and you're used to seeing the silks. I'm sure it's easier, but mm -hmm. I look at the saddle cloth and that's all I get. And when the red and the orange look the same, then I mix up the one and the seven. Yeah. So again, I think this is going to be a pretty fast pace. I'll try to call out the, the times. I know you're going to be on a slight delay. So they're loading into the gate right now. I'll see if I can watch it on something other than uh, Twin Spires and see if it's any faster. But nope, I can't because I have DRF bets. All right, let's watch it on TVG. I'm sure it's even slower. They're still in the paddock on TVG, I bet. I just realized that we have 243 people watching us. <laughs> Hi, when you, everyone. When you look at it, it makes you nervous. So you just got to keep <laughs> yeah, your eyes closed. I have why little... did I look? <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to call a race in front of 240 Ooh, people, but go ahead nine, as you're off. Uh, the nine had a horrible start there. So running up to the lead there is, well, the mute thing is covering the horses. So I cannot see what the saddle cloth number is. This is starting great. Polka Polenta blossoming in Botox. <laughs> Katie uh, leading the charge up there with True Blue Pearl. Oh, there they go. So Ch True Blue Pearl was on the inside and is now moving up a little bit. After the horrible start, Twirling Ruth is actually much closer up than I thought they would be. In fact, they are now third, uh, tugging past True Blue Pearl. Uh, Polka Polenta did the quarter mile in 24 and 33 with blossoming still behind uh, true blue pearl and twirling Ruth are still tugging it up with each other there. And then there's a small gap back to the eight uh, who is, is dialed in a, Hey, there's my long shot. Uh, so dialed in a, <laughs> Uh, well, man, it, the camera, the zoomed out camera yep. at Turfway is, is blurry really right now. Really helpful. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Polka Polenta is still has a pretty uh, comfortable lead. Uh, True Blue Pearl is starting to move up now, though, and is about a length away from her haunches. Uh, the number nine, Twirling Ruth, is also trying to get up there. Lemon Bomb has finally made an appearance on the screen here. And the True Blue Pearl has now moved on the outside of Polka Polenta, who is holding strong at the moment. Uh, not looking good for our exactus. Uh, Polka Pol True Blue Pearl is trying, 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 but Polka Polenta looks like they're going to hold on by about two length victory, now widening slightly. So let's see, third, it goes to, ooh, ooh close, close between Lemon Bomb. Oh, sounds and, like you're caught up with me. Yeah, no. I, TVG. I, Katie. <laughs> talk bad about TVG and then uh, have them do it exactly on time with you. So there you go. Womp, womp, womp. I don't think we even mentioned the five. Did we? No. <laughs> no, we didn't even talk about the five at all. At, at talk about one, Botox Katie, though. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah, boy. I, I, I understand. Like, so these are the type of races one don't bet a whole lot of money in because they're oh, yeah. allowance races at a uh, turf way. But when you look at it, like I look at the time form and the five is fifth. So when I look at the PPs and see, oh, that one yeah, probably wants to come from a little bit farther back and mm -hmm. uh, coming out of some tougher races. So maybe this is the place to play it. And yeah, that's it is that, you know, Again, I look at time form in the race rating. It was a 112, a 109, a 101, and a 90 in the last four starts. And now down to an 89. So it was not bet in any of those races until last time. It was 7 to 2. So uh, still not getting to it. You, I, we can run this race right now, betting against mm -hmm. the 5 again. So wow, I'm okay Lemon Bob got bet down to 3 to 2. Wild. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think the Super will pay that great. <laughs> 5 grand like a cheap pantyhose, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh so here, you're dead on go. everything i'm dead on everything um why don't we take we have um oh it's helpful if i push the right button so one of the fun things is i'm pushing buttons on this side and i'm doing the wrong button so they look even worse uh we <laughs> have one thing we have to do here and it's more important than you and i talking if i can find it there it is so we will be back in 58 seconds starting right now hey guys what's up welcome back to racingdudes.com uh, this youtube page is growing and it, it is very well liked and we have a regular website as well and it answers a lot more questions that maybe we see from you guys uh in the chats when we're doing our live streams uh, a lot of times we'll be talking about the big stakes races and somebody will go hey do you like the three today at Gulfstream park well here's a place you can find it and you can find it for absolutely free 
Go to RacingDudes.com and then click on that free picks button. And we have free win picks for every track running every single day. That's right. Every track, every day. RacingDudes.com. Click on the free picks and you can find every single track running. So if you're watching a, a stream and you go, I love the content. I wonder what they want at Gulfstream here in the second. Guess what? Go to RacingDudes.com. Click on that free picks menu and you can find out. Don't forget, RacingDudes.com. A lot more content right there. That is the mothership of the Racing Dudes brand, and you can find it right there. Like I said, RacingDudes.com. Yay, back from our water break. And I will say that instead of getting the uh, free picks, if you get the premium picks, uh, Aaron had that nine to win, so okay, wrong. But then you throw a trifecta box that he has, and it's uh, four, seven, five, and he, he hits the trifecta. So... Uh, maybe sure you just have him come on. I don't know. Maybe he'll come on and talk about uh, Turfway instead of us. Then you know, maybe they'll give us some you know better winners than we are. But we can't we can't give away the, the premium picks for free, Nick. Well, it's after the <laughs> after the fact. That's when you give right. them out. You, no, you, no, no. I mean, like we can't there. we can't be like, oh, this is what Aaron has. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that is definitely uh, something. I, I went was going somewhere and now I'm not. So. Uh, Moving on. <laughs> that let's was talk definitely Louisiana. something. <laughs> let's talk Louisiana <laughs> Derby before we talk about a uh, allowance optional at a uh, Turfway. Why don't we talk? Uh... Yeah, sure. I can go ahead and pull that up using a zoomed out screen. That oh, that didn't work. Uh oh, it's angry. <laughs> it's angry. <laughs> All right, do it. There we go. Ha ha. Nope, still not. Get on there. All right. <laughs> All right, so looking at this field, full field of 12, and I don't think we have any early defections, right? The Triple Espresso is going to be for sure That'd this be, race. I know they're, they're an yeah. alternate entry in the uh, in the Jeff Ruby stakes. However, Circle P is uh, ahead of them, so if Circle P draws in, then do we, do we know where this horse is right now, Triple Espresso? I don't really have much interest in it. Um, I'm, I, I think it would actually run better at the Jeff Ruby stakes, but yeah, I digress. I think most mo most horses would do better at Jeff Ruby than here. This is a this is a tough one. I think while I don't think the winner of the Derby is here, when catching Freedom or Honor Marie or Hall of Fame or Track Phantom or Tuscan, uh, not that Tuscan, the other Tuscan. Uh, win the derby i don't think there's going to be a huge shock i think um fairgrounds has been a very good track for um the derby the last couple of years so i do think that this rendition is not going to be any different i think you know like i said i'm not i'm not wouldn't bet on this race producing the winner but if it does i would not be shocked and i'd be kind of happy because i just named five horses that i have enough future money on to pay my mortgage for the month or you know, pay myself back for all the dumb future bets I've already made. So where where did you land anywhere here? Have you made a decision on what you like here? Uh, I there's there's some horses here that are coming from their maiden win. So Antiparian, and I might pronounce that wrong. Uh, and oh, who is the other one? I am now blanking. Tuscan Gold, Tuscan Gold, the other Tuscan horse. Um, I have some interest in both of them. I just, this is going to be, they have to step up, up from their maiden, clearly. And uh, Agate Road, I'm kind of like, why? Why not stay at Turfway? But um, I kind of zeroed in on Honor Marie a little bit. And I'm a little, I will say, I'm going to start this by saying I might be slightly biased uh, because of the Fantasy League, but I really, really like Common Defense. He's been running really well um, his past couple races. He's been improving. Yep. Uh, I, I don't trust Hall of Fame. I know there's some people who are kind of high on that horse, but I I, I just I don't know. what Was it the slop or was that this, was he outclassed that day for the Risen Star? Yeah, I would say that if he either of those answers could be true, and in that race you're getting seven to two, and this one you're getting eight to one on the morning line, so I'll, mm -hmm. I'll take the eight to one. I don't know that Hall of Fame is going to be great, but he's a gun runner out of a Giants Causeway, so let's try. Um, and Steve Asmussen definitely wants to win the Derby, so he's going to try. Um, and you know, one point four million dollars later, I think they're going to at least give it a give it the best shot they can. So 
the Hall of Fame may not be good enough, but you're going to get paid correctly this time if he does win. Mm -hmm. I like, uh, well, I won't get, well, I guess it's too late. So there you go. Um, I like catching freedom yeah. here. I thought uh, that rate, the stakes race, what was it? Is that the Smarty Jones that he ran back on January 1st? was a really good race beating just steel and informed Patriot who were both going pretty well at that point. Um, and then ran third last time at the risen star losing to Sierra Leone, which is not a real uh, bad place to be. And, you know, lost the track fandom who was set in that pace came. I would like to say flying late, but came running late um, and still ran goofy. So I think Brad Cox is a good enough trainer that he's going to be able to correct some of that um get the uh get the soundboard ready flavian pratt comes in to ride so uh i think that's uh enough to make uh catching freedom a, a real good shot here yeah i you know i see pratt coming uh over here to be aboard him and definitely uh i'm now giving him a second look but man he has changed jockeys four times now right <laughs> Yep. Uh, catching freedom. So it's like, what's what's going on here? Is are they just consistently getting upgrades? Because I mean, Pratt, I would say, is, is probably I, one of the, the better ones here. Well, I would say one of the things to look at is that those first two at Churchill, and he kept Jeru Jeru. Um, he was at Oakland and got Torres, who's a good rider. And then Saez rode him last time at on uh, um risen star and si has moved over to triple espresso who it appears is running over at um turfway so i don't know if as much of a different writers as hey there's a writer that we can get which is flavian pratt and is there anybody better than flavian pratt to ride a horse yeah probably but not many <laughs> so i i think that's a it's a it's a very good step forward how about that yeah, that's that's a pretty good way to put it. I also want to say I'm I'm super disappointed that I just don't know where this video is. I was just sitting here no. searching for the Pratt video. Do, do and it's you not, want do you want me to play it? it? Cause I it, no, it's too late now. We're already done. <laughs> well, no, but now we brought it up. So the problem is you have to do this, and it changes everything behind us. And so now we get the oh. old one. Yeah. So this is the problem, and now I have to go look for it. But because we've already done it, we have. No, to it's do okay. It. I'm oh. here. I got it. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, well, so is it based off the background? Yeah, it's okay, based on the brand. This, this is great. This is swing, swing, tentpole. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, for anyone who's ever watched a uh, Magic Mike or a Racing Dudes uh, podcast, they uh, they need to delete some of these because I can show you some old ones that we won't do because I'm sure we'll get in trouble. So uh, we we will leave it there. Um, Flavian Pratt's the best. I, I love him almost as much as Magic does. I, I'm the vice president of the fan club, so I'll, I'll give that as my big reason why Catching Freedom's gonna gonna run better down the stretch, and I think he's gonna want every bit of that mile and an eighth. So that that'll be you, my pick is Catching. What, Freedom. what do you think his odds are gonna end up being? Mm, 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 Since we have mm. Track Phantom in here, yeah, and I think Call of Fame takes some money, and I think. Um, I think common defense will take some money, but uh, maybe not running second like that. So probably seven to two, three to one is what you'll get on um, catching freedom. Assuming everybody stays and this, this race seems like it's going to hold together pretty well. So I would think you're going to get 11, maybe 10. And I think three to one type price would be what you get on uh, catching freedom. Mm -hmm. Cause he, he has only one, what two races he won the smarty jones and then ran third to track phantom so I figure he'll be second choice behind track phantom track phantom goes what two to one mm -hmm. I, I think he will probably end up going favorite and I, I mean hall of fame might take some money too um i want to bring up curtis's comment here so if you're in the discord we actually do a live discussion discussing the derby prep races um just over voice and he is was pretty high on honor marie here so it looks like uh, curtis you have five seven eleven twelve as your picks for this race oh you like tuscan gold too awesome um but ben curtis is going to be riding honor marie um so kind of good to see he's in winning form here uh charles uh, brings up you know common defense ran a really good race and defeat to timberlake uh but 
you do call it uh, the fairgrounds race a softer race than the rebel. <laughs> I, I I think I disagree with that. The rebel was kind of <laughs> horrible. <laughs> like, the, yes. that, that field was not great. Uh, yep. A lot of a lot of some of those horses are actually racing at, at Turfway, the uh, Woodfort and uh, Northern Flame, who got second or third. Um, so. I guess we'll see if they uh, improve off that rebel race there. Um, so we have 15 minutes to post to race seven. We haven't really discussed this race yet. Look, at, we're getting good at this. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, race seven is six furlongs. It's optional claiming. Uh, the, it's for fillies and mares over three. And I, I think we differ in opinion this race heavily based off of the uh, – your chart that you put up. Uh, who's your top pick for this race? Uh, I landed on the three here. Um, it seemed like a race that you're you're gonna get a slowish pace and a slowish pace going um, six furlongs typically isn't the greatest thing for a horse. It's not on the lead, so I'm gonna I'm gonna believe that the three is going to get to the lead though doesn't typically hasn't really ran that way but did two and three back was up near the lead so breaking well um should be able to sit a pretty good spot if it doesn't get the lead but i do think should with the rail with one of the two are fairly slow out of the gate i'm hoping and kind of proven that over and over again so and then the other part of this was that foster well not foster but the owners uh claimed this one back on january 24th for 25 and then putting back and running back here protected um i always like that as an angle where you kind of claim a four-year-old didn't really move it up so much but i think maybe kind of prepping this one for something halfway decent um i mean you're not claiming a twenty-five thousand dollars horse expecting to win huge stakes races but kind of seems like this one has a chance to go run on the dirt ran pretty well at churchill three back so long way of saying the three is my top choice i actually i landed on uh so uh hideki hideki is that how you say that name uh the sure. number four uh, I think is, is probably going to be, uh, well, it's actually seven to two right now. So, uh, or three to one, um, man, these odds are different than the ones that I'm looking at over here. <laughs> uh, I think is, is taking a pretty decent, uh, oh gosh, where are my notes? I thought I had notes on this race and I didn't, um, <laughs> stand by. <laughs> yeah. I, so the four looks like it's going to be. If not the favorite, nope, the eight's going to be the favorite, and the four is going to probably be second choice based on these will pays, and the eight's going to be a pretty heavy favorite. Um, four is coming off of a layoff and running five and a half on the turf at Churchill. Um, there's definitely an angle there because it was getting bet pretty well on winning races and running really well on some pretty high quality races. I think the first time I was a five year old and stretching out seems like it's a prep for something so um yeah. there's definitely a world where this one wins but i'm i'm more of a let this one beat me yeah i, I had a note that it, i think it's it's dropping in class here to mm -hmm. come back uh to start it, its debut its five-year-old season um and i i kind of agree with you that it's been uh running really well uh back in its previous form here uh, so i and also uh, julian laprue uh that's a jockey that i like to play sometimes uh and you know, didn't hate the price on them. Uh, I like your three too, though. I had your three underneath for uh, for me, and I've seen some people in the chat talking about the uh, the number eight nom de plume, nom de plume with uh, mm -hmm. Luan uh, on board there. Uh, some people are saying this is a single here. So, uh, how do you feel about the number eight, who's currently the favorite? And looks like based on the will pay is going to be a short favorite. I, I understand the case. I understand why you, this would be a play you'd want to make uh, two or I guess 2022 as a two year old broke its maiden at Turfway going six for a long scheme back as a three year old and ran second in an allowance race and then took a long break to run on the turf at Ellis, then took uh, a decent break to run on turf at Churchill. And then took another long break to come back here. So this one feels like one that they're going to be pointing towards some sort of stakes race out of this race, kind of regardless of what happens. Mm -hmm. um, and it feels very much like a prep. 
Uh, first time as a four-year-old, Uncle Mo. Uh, Uncle Mo's, I I want to say my reading knowledge is impeccable. Want to go longer. I feel like this one wants to go at least that mile, and turf seems to be more up its alley. So um, the eight and the four I am throwing out entirely because I'd like to – I like to get the price I think I'm going to get on the other. So I'm going to box up some things here and play a trifecta box just because I'm Ooh. here. Oh, yeah. Getting getting spicy now. Uh, the number five up and down uh, I had in second. Um, and I, I, I don't know. Just there's some of its uh, past races. And I'm like, if you can run that race... Yep. Oh yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Um, but it's very few and far between. It only has two wins lifetime. Uh, I don't know the the jo a jockey by the name of Irad Ortiz rode this horse once once upon a time. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, yep. let's see another like a more longer shot that I thought was maybe could come underneath was uh, Kendall Grace the number six. It's currently twenty two to one. Goodness. Um, that could be a show bet. I'm known for my show bets. <laughs> See, this is why I wish the showdown that I run could be live betting, but it would be impossible. Oh, I don't imagine it would be horrible. Um, do you have any like long shot picks that you like here? Yeah, I mean, that are I currently like over. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to get super long prices here because it's only a field of eight. I think the eight is over bet. I think the four is going to be over bet. So that kind of leads me to kind of grab the rest of them. So mm -hmm. my my top pick was the three, which I think I made a at least a fairly decent case for. Um, the other one that I really like is the seven, who's coming out of some two claiming races or claiming races, uh, the last two, and then last out ran in an allowance race where it was seven to one and won that race. Um, has four wins in its career, and we're in a non-winners of one, non-winners of one, winners of two, non-winners of two other than. Um, and so it kind of feels like this one has found its friends and found its level um, and ran some really good races the last three. It's uh, improving time form speed figures, likes, it appears to run at this sprint distance and should be able to sit kind of off of this pace and come running um, I want to say late, but maybe top of the turn starts to make its move. And with the outside posts, I like the outside post on these one turn races. So I was three, seven as my top two. And then we get a little bit, uh, a little goofy with the six is my, uh, I'd, I'd call it my third pick, but yeah, six and one are kind of one in the same six and one half dozen. The other, if you will, um, coming up also out of an allowance race that it just won. I believe that was in, in one X, um yes and so oh, never won two and so it just feels like that one's making a move in the right direction a five-year-old and kind of improving the last couple of races fits in this level basically the same thing as the four as best i can tell like you flip a coin between the four and the six and they're kind of the same and the four is coming off of a long layoff and hasn't ran on synthetic in a while so i'll take the 10 to 1 morning line which i believe is 20 to 1 currently so i did a one three six seven trifecta box for a dollar um you know these are the type of races that i'd love to beat the four and the eight and if i lose in a trifecta like that i lose and there it's probably better to play an exacto when i think the uh four and eight are not going to be the best horses because i do think they're both really good and so they should Really, what would happen is they'll fill out the trifecta and I'll lose because I got a little too cute by half. But um, one, three, six, seven for me. So, yeah, so you have the one, three, six, seven trifecta box thrown That's out. The... Yeah. And then I am going to be doing a key box. So I'm going to key the four with three, five, one, six. I'm also throwing out the eight, even though I do have it a third here. But Hoping since it's such a short price, maybe we can beat it here. Yep. I mean, that's kind of what you have to do. And like, I always like to talk about the way you, you know, the way you should. And by should, I mean the logical way of not burning up money. So if you're playing a exacta here and you're playing mm -hmm. the four eight, you don't play four eight with some other horse because mm -hmm. your price, like, even with the four eight comes in often enough and the prices just aren't long enough and you're not going to get paid enough that when you're wrong, because you're going to be wrong. You know, every race, if you're me and you 
one out of three. So it becomes a, you're going to just start burning up money when you're doing that. So the ticket police will say that, oh, you could never do it that way. But I think the ticket <laughs> police have, um, let's call them probation officers. They shouldn't be police. They should be probation officers. They kind of keep you in line that you're playing a four, eight exact. Don't throw in the five for the sake of not losing this bet. You either play the four, eight or eight, four kind of cold or play the four, eight or boss. Toss the if you're gonna get, yeah. <laughs> or toss your, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's sort of the way that you do it in a, you know, a logical way. Now, one time, fine. And what the ticket police get a bad rap for is like, they mean they play every day and they play a lot. I'm playing 30 races a week, half of them at Turfway, half of them for five bucks. So let's not go nuts here trying to be too uh, worried about the way you're playing. But if you're playing a lot and you're trying to make a living doing this, then yes, you definitely can't play that way. I am fixing my numbers because I had them in order of how I liked them. So yeah, that's all right. I that's the way I like to see them. It makes me feel a little bit better about it. Um, the four eight is paying thirty seven for two in exacta, and the eight four is playing twenty three. So you know those are for a two dollar bet. You're getting sixteen to one, eighteen to one. So see, I did that. I did. I did this this last race, and then that five ruined everything. So yep. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to fall for it this time. <laughs> and and you should not, because that's not enough of a payout, in my opinion. Eighteen to one mm -hmm. sounds great because if I'm getting eighteen to one on a winner. Great, but you're but also I need the winner and, yeah. and the second, right? I need to get that second horse also, and the second horse is the hard one. And you know what's even harder? The third one. You know what's even harder than that? The fourth one. And the worst is the fifth one. So when they do those high fives, it's like, yeah, it's a buck. Look at that carryover. It's great. But there's a reason there's a carryover because nobody can hit it because you got to get five horses in a row. There's only eight of them and it's still impossible. <laughs> so I, one, I don't like verticals all that much by starting to get more and more comfortable with them, trying to mm -hmm. figure out the way these races are shaping up. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's so hard to get multiples in like this. So I would definitely say it's worth, uh, throwing out the favorite and playing exact or, you know, throwing out both the top two and doing a trifecta box. And if you're wrong, well, it's 12 bucks. What are you going to do? Yeah, exactly. Um, so we're still three minutes post. It uh, looks like the favorite, the number eight is still eight to five at the moment. Uh, my and four based on those will pays, the double will pays, it's paying 10 bucks and the four is paying 19 um, the one, oh, the five is paying 10 bucks also. So the five and the eight are actually going to be, oh, the five may end up being the favorite based on, you know, one or the other. I'd say the eight probably ends up the favorite and the five second choice. So, um, yeah, I mean, with a four on top for you, I know it's a key box, but if you played a four with one, three, five, six, I think that's a very, very good way of playing it. Um, personally, I don't like the key, key box. box too, so yeah. We'll see. Yeah, I, <laughs> you don't like the key I box. Would, I I prefer to do the four over one three five six for four dollars mm -hmm. or two dollars, and then do the one three five six over the four for a dollar, because you know your opinion is the four is going to win. So you want the four to kind of be that one that you're playing more heavily, as the guy that says That's a fair. four course key bo a trifecta box. So by all means, again, I'm not <laughs> even close to a probation officer, but I think the the key box is a bit of a it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I think throwing out in this case, if I were you, I'd throw the five out though. It seems like the, you know, second choice and likely to win. So you, you're going to cash a ticket and I'm going to lose all my money. But with that said, that, that would be the way that I'd like to try and do this. Yeah. Well, the, they are a minute to the gate. Do you want to try calling this one now that you're, you're uh -oh. on TVG? Well, let's see if I can get my TVG app to work in time. Oh yeah. One minute to post. Now I can yeah, see if time. I can see any of these uh, names again. Ooh, let's see if I can memorize names. I can't. I don't know my child's uh, teacher's names, but I'm going to know eight horses in 30 seconds. Let's see how this works for me. <laughs> I'm going to try it this way, too, where I have the, the phone over on the computer. Oh, and I'm going to touch the computer screen and move it all away. Hey, and then... this, is a, this is the easy race. I'm taking the next race that has like 14 horses in it. So... <laughs> you got some scratches. That's how the 14 got in. Oh, you know what? I... Let's see. Do you... Oh, it's too late. I was gonna... I'm going to try and play a double as well. I'm going to, because I like this three so late. much. They're still walking up. Yeah. 
I'm not going to memorize any names though. So I'm going to single the three. Oh, Dennis's favorite horse is in the next race, by the way. Which one is Dennis like? Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. <laughs> okay, I'll play it too. I didn't like that. Oh, no, that was, that was my other one. So I'm playing the three with 4, 10, 14. I'm throwing out the, nope, I'm going to play the two. Two, four, yes. Three with two, four, 10, 14. Is how I'll play this. Nice. I don't know what it's yeah. paying. If, if you didn't see Dennis, I guess messaged uh, Tony. So the, yeah, and <laughs> said like, "Hey, this is what this horse is named after." And during the call, he <laughs> did the look at me. So I, I don't have the audio on this because we're live. So maybe maybe he does it again. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody will have to Thank listen to it because we we aren't allowed to though. They are showing replays now. We should talk to Magic if we're allowed to show races now because they're showing replays. And that was the big uh, hubbub they uh, had. I know there's some tracks that if you contact them, they're cool with it. So yeah, Turfway's not with, one of them. <laughs> maybe if we do end up doing Charlestown after Turfway's over, we can reach out because I've, I've seen people live stream uh, at least yeah. Charlestown. I know that also. Oh, and they're off yeah. on TVG. And my three broke poorly, so that's perfect. Just what I wanted as the five up and down. Eh, small lead. Three coming up the rail and pressing the lead. And the three is now going to go on with it. Goshen? Goshen. 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 Up and down, running second. Uh, Nom de Plum at nine to five. Uh, third on the outside, getting a pretty good ride. And uh, the two, Frango Electrico. Uh, sitting what should be a perfect trip if she is good enough. The two is sitting kind of kind of perfectly as they go into the turn. Goshen holds a half length lead. Nom de Plum is getting getting ridden pretty hard to get riding here. Um, and Franco Electrico riding the rail swings off and making a move in between horses as the eight stumbles and goes sideways we got four across the line and the three goes backwards shoving me into a locker as the eight runs away with it again <laughs> unlikely to get caught because i didn't bet on it eight runs away with this one two that five too. close looks like the two ran second five ran third eight two five trifecta wow look at the, that exacta is gonna be decent right yeah this went off at 56 to one wow not that too nice. was that too ran very well. Ran, yeah, it was it had a perfect trip there. So, and I this is the thing that I learned from Mike watching uh, Magic Mike show so many times is when you're completely wrong on a horse, especially a long shot like the two, go back and see mm -hmm. why you threw the two out, and was there a way that you can get there? And the two ran six last time, beaten by five, and then two back in January ran five fifth, beaten by four length. Uh, 36 to one and 51 to one. I'm not getting there, right? Like there's just no way that I can get myself on that too. And this is that turf way roulette wheel type feel where it's like you go back uh, March, 2023, it ran ninth at losing by 12 uh, at 77 to one. So never ran well on the synthetic and now third out as a four-year-old third time on synthetic first time with, Dallas, Solace, um, runs second and runs a really good race at what is going to be a pretty huge price there. I, I think the six uh, that we talked about actually got up for fourth as well. So this super is going to probably be pretty decent. For wow, it is. Absolutely, it is. Even with the eight winning on top. Yeah. Okay, we'll let uh, Rodney have his moment. There you go, Rodney. <laughs> it was the easy single Obviously. only we had known this earlier in the day in the discord rodney <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna send you some mean messages now oh man can't <laughs> wait to put him in timeout later <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i mean yeah those are those races <laughs> i'm uh i'm uh good getting beat by that eight coming off of that layoff like i completely like the way Rodney played it is right. You play it, uh, play it as a single or you, or you don't play it all. And that's, that's the way to do it. So here uh, I'll even get yeah. to that second one, Rodney. <laughs> yeah. I'm sad. I played like a really cheap superfecta. I didn't have the two there, but I did have the six. Ah. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, Luan. All right. So no way anyone had the two. That's yeah. I that's what I'm saying. Yep, the six got up. Well, how did it end? What was fifty-six to one over? It was eight two five six. Okay. So, uh, well, we'll give Aaron one more shout out because you know the race is over, so now he can't yell at or giving it away. But he had the five eight six, so he also didn't have the two, so he he missed it for sure. But got the rest of it, and those are you know the five is the one that I I didn't like. You did, um, but at least a little bit and i tried to talk you off it and the four ran like i kind of <laughs> hoped that it did i was just hoping the eight would do the yeah. same thing yeah see you see got too greedy you got too greedy <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah even with h5 yeah oh yeah yep. i'm ex i'm expecting at least at least 300 right for a 10 cent mm -hmm. uh eight horse field 10 cents is going to pay I mean, the two longest shots on the board came in. So. Right. But I think the way that this track is going to get played, the eight got bet way heavier than I thought. So I think the try is going to not pay. The try is 249. Oh, I was going to say 175. And then the super is for 10 cents, 276. 276. Okay. Yeah, I was doing a trifecta for fifty for ten cents, so I I was all over the place. Not even close. Nick tries to do math is never a good idea without a calculator, you know, anything. So I don't. Uh, no, the don't four did so. not get in. The four no. did not get in the top two. It ended up eight two took an L five six eight two five six. Yeah, eight two five six is how it ended. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate it, and also you, Shoddy. But I'm going to give Jeff the credit because. He typed it out. He he'd read my mind through the camera. For the people who are not listening and just reading the live chat, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we got one race left. Um, this is what Turfway is all about. Like, oh if you God. don't like this, you don't love Turfway. It's a mile, five k claimers, three year olds and up. Never won three races, um, and races where they were injured for four thousand or less, not considered in the allowance because there are some that have ran. For four thousand or less, because Mountain Near exists, so it's great. Uh, they originally had uh, twelve with two also eligibles, had a scratch of the six, so now we're running with thirteen. So they weren't also eligibles. Nice job by me, pretending you know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> go for it. I. I had perfect painting circled before the scratches came out that if this horse drew in, I was going to use it as probably as my top choice. And lo and behold, they have drawn in. So I do have uh, kind of eaten chalk here, or maybe not. Live odds are 10 to 1. That's interesting. Um, never mind, not eating chalk. Okay, cool. The horse I like is 10 to 1. I'll take it. Uh, well, I'll, I'll look at the will pays and we'll see where we end up at. How about that's that? That's true. That's true. So I went uh, 13, 11, 4, 10 here. Um, okay. Mr. Me Seeks is a horse that maybe I am doing name play here. Uh, ran a pretty decent third last out. Definitely want to be a horse that I use underneath. I It's the last race of the night and I'm not alive to anything so i don't know what i want to do here uh let's see mr meeseeks is the favorite right now hello <laughs> right, right now yes but uh your 14 is definitely going to be the favorite it's nine dollars and 60 cents okay. in the double um the uh, four is 17 so let's go with the four is the second choice and the 11 is third choice um Pick five is saying the same thing. So we'll go 14, 4, 11 is the top three choices. Let's pretend. Interesting. At least uh, based on what you can figure out on math here. So, um, yeah, that's going to be fun because I was on the 14, 4. <laughs> I saw that you were you had interest in, was it the two or was it the yep. three? The okay. two. So now I, the three, go ahead. I was going to say that I, I had the 14 and the two were my top two choices. And then uh, Scott Shapiro's top choice is the four. So he talked me out of the four. So I'm actually 14, two, and then the four, um, the two is fitting these angles that I love at Turfway, Um, and especially five K claimers where three back for $7,500 going a little bit longer. 
the two ghost bike went gate to wire in a mile and 16th at 20 to one, then came back at a uh, 15 K claimer stepping up double its price and ran uh, ninth beaten by 29 and ran last. So then dropped back down to that $7,500 level last out going a mile and ran ninth beaten by 22. So now I'm going to say, Hey, this four-year-old is going to get back to that January 24th race, go gate to wire and win going away. Um, when it runs ninth beaten by 30 lengths, we will all know why, but that that's where the case for that one was. I think the 14 is the logical and fits on every angle, but it's going to get bet like it fits on every angle. So I'm, I'm 14 two, but I'll probably play the two more heavy because I'm live on a live stream. Going to see how smart I am playing twenty to one as I this? lose every single. Is this bet. your other co-host showing up to the show in the live chat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got both of them tonight. What happened here? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know there was so, a show, so they showed up. Yeah, they showed up. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, Dr. Tang liking the seven and the thirteen. Uh, I'm getting the rush away stakes pulled up here if you do, can you maybe tell me do you see anything with these long shots here the seven and the 13 in uh, in this race this no race. dr tang comes up with horses that don't make any sense to anybody they don't they're long shots nobody understands why they're gonna win and then they win constantly and he wins money and i just cry and say why didn't you tell me that before the race he's telling me now at least so at least i have a chance to kill his price i i think he stopped telling me things because he thinks i'm going to kill his price with my two dollar win bets but you know that's that's what dr tang is good for he's uh he, he's he's one of those two is hitting the board guaranteed he doesn't play turfway he hates turfway he's cursed turfway so he'll never play it outside of the nhc and here he is on a live stream calling out winners i mean he might just be in here just to say like here's here's my long shot bye <laughs> so uh let's see here so I think we're, I mean, we're kind of, uh, I, I'm on, I'm on, I would give our picks here. I, I'm not sure about wagers. I think, I think I might do one of my, my YOLO super effectives that I do at Turfway and then just like, box my, box my horses and throw in your long shots, maybe underneath. What did you think about the three panorama truck? Who's was 20 to one morning line. I thought I had a note on this one, or maybe I was thinking of a different race. I'm all old school over here with a paper uh, form. Um, yeah, there was nothing about three that I liked. Um, been running in these similar type $5,000, $7,500 claimers. Um, not like, you know, Two back ran third in a 5K claimer going five and a half. So stretched out to a mile last out and ran 12. So kind of feels like a sprinter stretching out to a mile and going to end up in the same kind of place, which would be last. Um, mm. But, you know, I'm I'm down to hear a case for 20 to one because, you know, that'd be more fun than watching Dr. Tang lose. <laughs> or watch Dr. Tang lose. And, you know, Good point. Like, yes. Um, Okay, let's see. I I'm gonna probably just play a superfecta here because uh, okay. since I'm I'm out on all the multis. Do you have a? You want to do a try again? Is that kind of what you're looking at? Yeah. Uh, well, came into things as he always does, so we'll see. I, I was 14 is my my one that I think is gonna win, so I'll, I'll key that one in some way. I'll. I'll include the two because I made a case that I liked. So I'll play a 14 two with two 13, 14 exacta. How about that? Maybe I'll throw a trifecta together. We'll, we'll come up with something else. Let me, let me look again. I have, I have lots of numbers written down here. So now all of a sudden I'm Dr. Ting's in my head. Ah, that's the worst thing though getting talked onto a horse that you d you didn't have on your radar and then and then when you don't play it they win every time well every time. when when dr tang calls it i uh i listen to it so in looking okay. back it's definitely the he's right two races back ran a mile at this similar level slight step up in class but not really i mean technically drop in class from 75 to five but um turf way like the time form ratings have this race is a little bit better um but past horses 
uh, one at 10 to one going a mile. So if this race gets any sort of pace, it does sort of set up nicely for this one. I, I'm not a big fan of it being on the 13 post. Um, and I think that was more of my issue because I don't think it's that good. Um, well, if you like, if you like the 14, then you should have the same issue then. Yeah. But the 14 is right? a yeah. good horse for the level and the 13 is not, <laughs> but the 13 has a, definitely has a race in there that fits. And as we've said, a, a 5k claimer, anybody can win. So it definitely, it definitely fits in a way that it, that I should have caught. So I'll, I'll give Dr. Credit again for that one, as I usually do. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to box a super. Well, oh man, if I try to type out the supers that I play, it'll fill up the whole <laughs> screen. So I might, I might not type it, type it out, but uh, I'm definitely going to be playing. So again, a turf way, I call it the, the roulette track. I play my lucky numbers, I box them, and then I put the horses I think I'm going to win. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see if uh, 4 2 one, 11 can come in somewhere. Okay. that's There's a case to be made for a lot of those. I think, you know, it's a 5K claimer. Um, mm -hmm. You can make a case for probably all of them in a race like this. Um, yeah. the, the 11 is definitely one that makes sense, but at three to one, you definitely don't want to be again, if you want to sink, put it on top and then play underneath it makes sense. Same kind of thing was why I'm having my trouble with this 14 and, um, playing anything other than just the 14 on top. Cause it certainly feels like if you're going to do this, do it, do it that way. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll give you my trifecta. Here we go. We got the 14 on top with the two 10. 11 with two four six ten eleven and that'll be the, the oh the six is out so scratch the six out of there the six i made a case for and so the out, two so. four ten eleven yep and i'm gonna walk away because i don't know if you can hear my dog going nuts but he's going nuts and i don't know what he's going nuts about so carry the show for a minute you're welcome <gasps> oh see ya <laughs> <laughs> all right so the 14 over two da, 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 da. okay uh, don't mind me. We're just gonna hit save and put this up. And, and now you're locked in, Nick. That's 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 a typo. Hi everyone. How's everyone doing tonight in the live chat? Give us give us some thoughts on this race. This is like uh, Nick was saying. This is turfway. This is a turfway race right here. All right. There you go. Does that look correct to you? <laughs> Without the box, yes. Oh, oh, you don't want a box. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yep. You're right. Oops. Yeah, and I'm going to play my lucky numbers, and then I'm going to put the 14 in first and second, and just for Dr. Tang, I'll put the 13 in first. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, because I don't think, if that horse doesn't win, I don't think it's going to be on the board, so it's kind of my thoughts there. I'm, I'm going to post Jeff's comment here, and I'm going to throw him out of the chat, never to be seen from ever again. This is uh, blasphemy <gasps> on, on here. <laughs> I have mod abilities, but I'm not going to do it. Jeff, you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how, so you're even safer. <laughs> you're also probably not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rick, that's a that's a good play there. So when you play your supers, you stick your sleeper in with the figure horses. Yeah. Yep. That's a that's a way to play it. So let's. We have 12 minutes to post. Um, I did. I wanted to talk about the hot spring stakes, but I think yeah. since we're at Turfway, we might as well talk about a Turfway race this Saturday, the Rush Away. Rush Away. That is which race? That, Empress, do you remember? That is race remember? eight. Race eight. So I'm I had go ahead two and get opinions. That real quick. Yeah. Okay. This is one of the races that I had the opinion in. So, um, I'll I'll take it then. Because, you know, I like to hear my own voice. I don't understand why Tennessee is in this race. This is the race that makes no sense to me. Tennessee would be my pick to win the Jeff Ruby Stakes. And going a mile on 16th and going a mile on 8th don't seem to be that big of a difference. And they paid $1.2 million for this Justify 
uh, Colt and Brad Cox trains it and Windstar owns it and they like to go to the Derby. So why are they not trying to go to the Derby with this horse? I don't know. So um, the nine wins this race easily without any trouble. I don't understand how it loses. Um, I made a case for the five going gate to wire, ran back at Turfway three back and ran pretty well. Um, went on to Santa Anita and then shipped back out here. So that's a, uh, that's an interesting one, I think, underneath and looks to be the speed. So makes a lot of sense to me underneath. Um, but the nine to win, five and second, and then I can kind of make a case for a few more if we want to get there. I know the the, the hype on the Discord is definitely Tennessee uh, with Mugatu as, a, as a, a nice horse to use as a long shot. But um, I'm really disappointed to hear that Blue Eyed George isn't going to be in the race. So there's the news that the horse is going to scratch. So we'll see if the 13 or 14 make it in as well. Uh, footprint. Uh, is, um, I'm, I'm a big fan of McPeaks. If you look at my fantasy league team, apparently. Um, but <laughs> I don't think, I don't think footprint is going to make too big of a, a splash here. Um I, I don't know. I kind of just zeroed in on Tennessee, and I know that's going to be pr pretty chalky. Yep. And we already kind of talked about uh, during the Jeff Ruby stakes that, you know, picking chalk in such a big field at Turfway is just asking for it to get beat, though. So I just – Mike Alicious uh, is a long shot that I'm like, yeah, why not use underneath to spice it up if, if, the ten if Tennessee ends up coming in and taking this race. Um, yeah, I, the other one that I was uh, Mugatu, I know we mentioned, and that one has ran really well. Um, it ran in the what was the prep, the John Battaglia back uh, three weeks ago. It ran fourth to Encino, but was at sixty-eight to one. So, getting a this is definitely class relief from that race, and definitely you know fits better in a race like this than that um, Battaglia. So. Definitely makes sense. And we were never in 20 to one. Rodney was never happening because everybody sees that. Um, yeah. But um, I also, with you on footprint, I'm not going to make a win case for that one. And I'm going to make a small uh, underneath case for that one. And then the other one that I kind of liked, I think I clicked the wrong one in my, nope, um, was the 13 who with uh, Blue Eyed George coming out, I assume yeah. Ode to Ballius is going to be drawing in and, Fingers crossed, uh, Carl with a gnarl draws in. Um, ran off of a 200 day layoff, uh, did Ode to Ballius last out in the Bataglia, ran fifth at 65 to one, but wheels back three weeks later and runs here. Um, mm -hmm. with the experience over the track and the distance, kind of feels like has a chance. I didn't love the 13 draw, so definitely like a third place type for me, where I think it's going to get a little bit more of a run late. Um, but I'd be nine over three, five, 12, over three, five, 12, 13, 14. Um, I will make the case for Carl with a gnarl that if you watch that star allowance two back on February 2nd, uh, ran great at a mile um then came back also in the battaglia and just not even close also did not have much of a ride looked a little little rank didn't look great um in that race coming into the 14 post here was in the 11 post last out kind of feels like it has no chance again but super dry type horse seems to make sense to me I will make a note on the race that we are watching here at Turfway. The 14, in my opinion, looks fantastic on the track based off of the warm-ups here. Um, yeah, I don't I don't disagree with anything you said. I, I'm really interested in Carl with a gnarl. With a gnarl, I hate that name. Is, <laughs> uh, as well, yeah. Um, definitely using underneath. Um, I doubt we would get the prices on that. Um, I guess it depends on how short Tennessee goes. Um, I expect I think that already, to be pretty short, yeah. Yeah, and I think you already brought up, you know, like why is Tennessee here instead of the Jeff Ruby? I don't, I don't get it. But yeah, maybe, maybe they don't think he can go the distance or something. I mean, it's a sixteenth of a mile, so it kind of feels like this is time to find out. Um, 
and it could be that he just wasn't going to get in. So instead of putting him on the AE list, they put him here. Cause I don't know if you can be entered on in two races at Turfway. I think unlike fairgrounds where you can be in one race on the card um, and maybe he was going to be on the outside looking in mm-hmm. maybe. Um, I mean, Brad Cox doesn't have any other runners in that race. And so that's the part to me. I was like, maybe Cox has one there and in the Jeff Ruby stakes. And that's why he's like, yeah, that one's going to be the winner, but Cox doesn't have one in the Jeff Ruby. So I don't know. There's got to, there's, there's clearly a reason why, and I'm sure somebody will find it out sooner or later and won't let us know because horse racing. Because horse racing indeed. Um, um I was going to say, Ron, we don't, nothing wrong with the five. I think that's a, a very logical underneath horse. I think second, third um, is where I had that one uh, fits in kind of every level coming out of that um, running at Turfway, then back to Santa Anita, two races and back to Turfway. I, I like that angle a lot. Uh, Dr. Tang, what do you mean? Because now that you spoke it into existence, we have to, we have to bet. <laughs> <laughs> Because again, I'll, I'll kick myself at like you know if the seven or thirteen comes in and I'm like, oh. I had just listened to the doctor. So do you want to post those tickets that we put up here? We'll get our uh, our last yes. great idea up for this last race. I think we saw a little. Is bit that of time, still correct? Think, yeah, I'm not going to change it now after we've already okay. done it. So I, I anything that's a fifty cent bet. So let me see if I can. What a fifty cent bet costs? What is it? Three by four is what eight dollars. See if I can do math. Is that right? I don't remember how to do trifecta math. I just type it in. Then it tells me what I owe. I just when type I it in and it tells me. Yeah, that's yeah. what I do. Ma- <laughs> math is done done for me. Four fifty. <laughs> Nailed it. Not even close right. to eight dollars. And that's just right? fifty cents. So you know, if you yep. if you're down to your last you five dollars, I don't know. Don't don't play that. Don't, don't play, play trifecta. That. Yeah, at a turfway with your last five bucks. <laughs> nope. Yeah, so for so for fifty cents, it's four fifty. So that's the way to. That's, that's decent. Yeah, I like to end the night with something like that. Um, and Michael is on the seven eleven fourteen. All right. Yep. So we can all win if the fourteen comes in. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have my Yolo Superfected, which I am not going to type out because it's very long. <laughs> we'll see. We will see if it hits. I will attempt to do this race call with what 14 horses. So <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me pull up the correct thing. The the beauty of doing the uh, race call with just us is that you can just say the top four horses as opposed to saying all of the horses. Like when you're announcing. That's true. I'm race, not you... actually calling the race. Yeah. <laughs> right. I I just look at what the four say and make sure that it's in order and just say those names over and over again and then make a passing mention of uh another number that i cared about or someone else in the chat talked about so i have to make sure that i have the right race pulled up here yep okay i will oh. say that i it used to be and most of the meet um turfway opened the wednesday after thanksgiving and it had been a nine race track for almost the entire time in the last week or so they've gone to eight races and it's really thrown everything off um because it was you do races one through five were the early pick five and five through nine were the late pick five and that fifth race was a two or three year old maiden race that had nobody no horses that ever ran before so it was a complete crap shoot um which is the turfway way oh yep <laughs> it looks like austin is going to be playing a 7 11 14 over 4 7 11 14 over 4 5 7 11 13 14 Woo! that might get you there again i kind of i kind of like the uh the 10 a little bit mr b seeks to at least come in third so we'll see if hopefully that doesn't bomb you uh there austin the um i think the 10 i i had is my i wrote down six numbers three over three three numbers over three numbers and the 10 was my last one in and i'm trying to figure out what it was about that one that made me even include it in a race like this is there some, what about that horse am i did i like i don't understand tell me what i liked about this horse Shotty. which one i'm sorry the 10 uh mr miskis other than its name Oh, I, I just think uh, his last race uh, was 
pretty good. He's finished third. I I, I wouldn't leave him off the superfecta is what I was saying. That yeah. I would I would play him underneath. Uh, yep. I have marked on my notes YOLO. So. <laughs> <laughs> and um, now that I'm looking at it, it's, it is that last race. It's second out as a three year old mm -hmm. ran uh ran a much better time form number going that mile again makes sense yeah i like my choice of it in six that's a that's a good spot for it yeah uh, i might have talked you on to that one on <laughs> i think it's i told you because it's no it's because it's dennis's pick yeah or dennis likes this horse and maybe dennis meant that as in he likes the name not the actual horse but so we could just blame dennis yeah well dennis, I, dennis provides refunds for everyone's bets i uh <laughs> i did write it down on my little notepad my my crazy person notepad of numbers that my children <laughs> mocked me for um but it was the sixth one on there so i didn't add it here so i definitely had it for that reason so it's a good they enough are reason loading they are the 14 is two to one holy moly what kind of idiot would put that one on top <laughs> the fools <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. You said the four would go off the second favor. Yeah, it's four to one. Yeah. In the gates. All 14 of them. Man. Down to 12. Down to 12. We're fine. I'm easy. sorry, 12. You're right. I mean, this is an easy race now. I mean, when 14, that's it's insane. Like, but It's a great start for pretty much everyone there. Uh the three who uh, I didn't expect to go to the front so quickly like that. Uh, Panorama Truck, Golden Adult, bleh, Golden Texan, Huntington, and Ghost Spike. One, two, three, four. So there's your two that you liked a lot. Um, there's a pretty decent gap back to the rest of the field. It looks like Go Nuts. I can't, the Turfway cameras are so blurry. I cannot see the saddle cloth numbers on my laptop screen. So just going to ignore whoever's back there. Right now it's Golden Tex and Panorama Truck battling out up front. Uh, Panorama Truck doesn't look too uncomfortable there. Uh, Golden Tex just uh, does, look, looks fine going. Looks like 23 and 78 quarter mile uh, ghost bike and future victory flying up now and there goes the three panorama truck there's where i was expecting them to move up a little bit uh the seven future victory who shot up out of nowhere uh is currently in second <laughs> with, with ghost bike uh kind of ghost bike is kind of coming out of it here it looks like uh where's our 14 way at the back uh, yeah i don't see our 14 uh anywhere here so let's hope this 14 gets, gets a last uh, the first going in, here in the pink at the very back of the oh there he uh, goes i see him now yep. yeah so the the three that we uh, or that i brought up is is running running away with it here it looks like uh, the one go nuts the one go nuts might pass him here is also the 14 may catch him oh it's gonna be close at the wire go nuts oh one fourteen oh three. One fourteen three. I think it that's where it ended like up. I the, it might have been close between the fourteen and the three there. Yeah, for sure. With the fourteen being that far outside, it's always hard to get a good angle at it. But one wins and three and fourteen fill out your trifecta one way or the other. So hmm. yeah. What? Yeah, that one. I I need to see who got fourth here. Eleven. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh my god. I might. If the three came in third, I might have hit the super factor. Wow, you're gonna get it. I mean, <laughs> if you get because uh, my yeah, I put four two um one eleven boxed, and then I put uh three and third and uh what was it three and uh, me seeks ten and third and fourth. Oh, it looks like the 14 got it oh, by a nose. Yeah. Oh my god, this is gonna pay. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> well, now I wish I had typed it out on the screen. It would have been gonna a book. Say, Bro. You can't hit it and then uh then take credit for it. You gotta show us. 36 to 1 on top. Holy moly. See, it's a freaking roulette track. You just play lucky numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of shaking a little bit right now. I mean, the one, the one has no, some... no. I put the three and four, not third. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that that's painful. Oh, I should have played a try. 
could have played the try. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's she, a case live on air, shoddy meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> there's a case for that one. It's a it's a Doctor Tang type case where it's been running not so great, but no. takes a step up as a third on the Paul on the synthetic, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's a. I typed it. I said the what I said, but I didn't type in what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I, man. Oh well, I'm I'm kind of go nuts was a horse that you know I had I had underneath. Uh, it just so happened to also be one of my lucky numbers, but I didn't I didn't see this horse winning at all. Obviously the everyone else yeah. agrees it went off at what 36 to one 36 to yeah, one 30. off a 12 to one morning line for sure a, a tough one to get but i in the case i would make and why i wouldn't play it and threw it out was it needs to come closing and closing on the rail at turfway is not an easy thing to do but 5k claimers at turfway anything kind of happens in a race like that so um no, i'm not going to play the one it's not going to be one that i'm going to be like oh i should have had that one it's definitely not that but the if you make the case in that way of like, these all aren't very good and the one's going to get the rail and ride like that, then, you know, I just not, not, not for me, not going to be what I'm going to get, but the, the pick five is now going to pay $22,000 because uh, the one wow. hit as opposed to the $700 if the 14 wins. The there, six? So. Okay. So what happens if uh, the, so the pick six didn't hit here because there was no one alive to the one. Yep. Does that, you just get paid five out, five out of six. There's no carry over nope. here. carry. It's a full carry. So it, oh, the, it's a full carry. Yep. So the pick six at um, all, well, not all, at Churchill and at Turfway are not ones you want to be playing. Um, it is a jackpot pick six, and it's a 20 cent jackpot. But they do a good job of a, only a 10% carryover if, every, if it's hit by more than one. So they, they do a small carry and pay out most of it. In a case like this, it gets a full carry. So tomorrow it'll, the uh, pool will go up quite a bit because you'll get the full mm -hmm. carry on it. So um, Hamid, they're still uh, they're still we waiting. We have some people in the chat who did have uh, go nuts in some wagers no, wow. here. Nicely I don't done. think I don't uh, I don't know if he was just playing supers or not. So yeah, he liked he liked Fernando. That was his sleeper. Yeah. He was saying uh, play play sleeper uh, your sleeper horses with you know. Who's up on the board? That's what they were saying earlier. Yeah. Man, I just feel like, you know, I hit the lottery and then I dropped the ticket in the ocean. Uh, and or somebody something else picked because it up. like, man. Yeah, because yeah, I was <laughs> like, ah, oh, I'll have to go back in when we're we're done here. Uh there's it's still a photo, right? <laughs> yeah, now. I was gonna say the still a photo up. We don't have second and third, but the one wins. Probably it looked like the 14 and second and the three and third. Right. Yeah, I think, I think the where... photo is for fourth right now. Okay. That's what, it was really, really close. Um, I think the eleven got it though. Um, I'll have to go back and see if I if I said three in the third position or just three in the fourth. Because if, <laughs> if I said if I said the actual winning superfecta and I played it wrong, I'm gonna be very sad. Because this superfecta is gonna pay like a thousand yeah. something. <laughs> it's yeah the with yep. the one right, on so top the, for sure. Yep. Official is, or it's unofficial, but they put up on the screen number one, go nuts in first, 14, perfect painting in second, three, panorama truck in third, and 11, warriors place in fourth. Huntington is finishing out the super high five, which I don't know if they do that here. Uh, they do, and only in this race. Oh. Well, that's going to pay too. No, it will not. It's a also a jackpot, oh. so it'll carry, and nobody will have that one. I'm I'm willing to bet because nobody Ooh. really plays that. Yeah, the pool and the uh, high five is normally pretty tiny um, because it's a uh, turfway, and also the uh, takeout's pretty bad, and it's a jackpot. There's no real reason to play that one unless you get it cold for a dollar. But now we got to sit and wait for the prices because at this point, and agonize over that. Yeah. Yeah, this is. So a 36 to one over nine to five over 16 to one, 16 to one. What do you think for a 50 cent trifecta? $750. Yeah. I, yeah. I think it'll be over 500 for sure. And I, I'm assuming the super has to pay at least 900. This is very okay. similar uh, odds that date. So Davey hit uh, the super effect uh, 
10 cent super effect the 1700 <laughs> Ooh. oh wow and the 50 cent try paid 1300 what yeah oh my god that 36 to one on top is gonna uh, gonna do it yeah oh my goodness wowzers well um i hope somebody hit the exacta because that paid 140 well, there was people in here who had the one, so hopefully people boxed it or something if yeah, they were or following just put it on in top. The chat, I mean, but, the, uh, um, the one paid seventy four bucks on a win, so you know, just a two dollar win bet would be a nice way to end the night, considering how my night's gone so far. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that was a that was an interesting introduction back to dudes after dark started out hot man i was i couldn't miss with those exactos but then it all went downhill when i didn't listen to rodney yeah well you know those 5k claimers are going to do that to you so um you know i think i i as i've said a hundred times love turfway i think turfway is a fun place to play if you like full fields you can't complain about uh not having full fields because turfway exists turfway in oakland what more do you need <laughs> well, uh, did, I want to stay one more second. Did, did anyone hit that at all? Probably not. People would be going nuts in the chat if you like. <laughs> yeah, I, I would hope so. And if not, then you should definitely be quiet and not tell anybody because uh, you can pay my mortgage this time. <laughs> yeah, come so, on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what else do you need to do over here? Um, was there any? I think we covered all the fun races for the weekend. Basically, was there, did you want to talk about the what you call it, uh, Oakland? Or are you good? No, I, I think I mean they might cover it on Blinkers off later. Okay. Um, I kind of already said that I, I'm biased. I really want Otto the Conqueror to win the Hot Spring Stakes, um, <laughs> but there's also the threat, quote unquote, of Nash and Carbone in that race. So we're gonna see who's the better miler. Uh, and Magic told me uh, before we end the show, you know, the, the, to pick one of the, those clips and then we can end the show that way. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I like so that. So do you, you are cursed. Um, but anyway, that's what, that's all we're going to cover for tonight, guys. Uh, there, we got one more weekend of Turfway. Is that correct? Yeah, we have this weekend and next weekend. Next weekend is uh, closing week. So we'll run Wednesday through Saturday next week. That uh, okay. next Saturday card looks... Uh, very turfway like uh lots of low level claimers everybody gets ready for keelan keelan opens the following week so this is the big this saturday is the big day and then we kind of fizzle out pretty quickly so uh keelan, yeah. here we come so do you want to come back next week on wednesday or do you want to come back on a friday saturday what what do you what's your plan um oh like? i'll have to look at the calendar and i'll let you know i okay. think i'm going so, out of town for kids spring break next week Ooh. So oh, yeah. yeah, stay posted. Uh, we're planning on doing these every week. Uh, we'll probably take some viewer feedback on where you want us to cover after Turfway's over. I was thinking Charlestown, um, and then maybe in the spring or is it Santa Anita that you were talking about the other day that we can do later races there. So Del Mar, um, once Del Mar starts running, they run at uh, um, two o'clock Pacific on Friday. So that's the, the best of the best is a two o'clock yeah. Pacific, five o'clock Eastern um come mid-july that's a always a fun card all right well uh everyone uh to get a uh, free picks daily with horse racing and sports uh, make sure you go to racingdudes.com uh, check out the free picks and have anything else to say nick am i supposed to push a button or something over here are you going to push a button this is going to be the fun part who's no, going to just it? you know sign off i don't know Oh, okay. I want to hit, hit, hit the say video goodbye? and we can then stream. <laughs> goodbye. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you do not agree with this, you're cursed. <laughs>